To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. The time has finally come, gentlemen. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. <laughs> you would have never seen me so mad. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. Get but the you gotta fuck be willing out of here! The There's no way you just caught that in double coverage! And you're not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of you! Or anybody! I'm Thomas, do that and that ain't you! Fun. You're better than that! Oh, what the fuck was that? I'm going to love you no matter what. No, no fucking way! No fucking way, George killed you! Oh, I just watched Gronk fucking oh. lost me! You're the best thing in my life. Oh, I hate to look at this team and realize that I couldn't, I couldn't pull it off. I love you, boys. Thanks for watching, as always. But until you start believing in yourself, you ain't gonna have a life. Wheel of Months! The grand finale! You just knew that I couldn't go out the way I went out in last season. Last season was honestly depressing, man. This is gonna sound really stupid, but I legitimately had a nightmare that night about all of it, man. All of it. It, it really did hurt to lose what I thought was gonna be my final Super Bowl of Madden 23, but I just can't go out like that. So I'm taking one final crack at Wheel of Mutt, and rather than make you wait an entire month and a half until the Super Bowl, I'm grinding out an entire season right now. So this is gonna be a long video. I won't waste your time. By the way, I got out the Cooper Cup jersey. I figured I'd need all the grit in the world to get a redemption dub here, especially because God squads are out in full effect and there's no getting around it. Let's talk number one. One, I made the Super Bowl last season despite having a disappointing season, which means I get a new prestige player. That new prestige player is not on offense. Our new prestige player is PS2. Patrick Sertan. Now, the reason I went with PS2, he wasn't my favorite player in the league or anything. This was a meta decision. I just lost the Super Bowl. And I know for a fact that a six foot two amazing team of the year corner is so important to my team. So I prestige Patrick Sertan and he'll go alongside Sauce Gardner. So we have some amazing corners in right now. His stats are amazing. He's so, so, so good. Ah, yes. And I've noticed that the grand finales of Wheel of Mutt tend to get more views than everything else. So let me give a refresher for anybody who's new or is just popping in this year. In Wheel of Mutt, to build my team, I start with all silvers and I spin a wheel to add to the team. Every time I make a Super Bowl, I get a brand new prestige player. A prestige player entitles me to the best version possible of that card and they're locked into the lineup forever. So right now, my prestiges are Jason Kelsey, TJ Hawkinson, Justin Jefferson, Christian Okoye, Megatron, Micah Parsons, Eric Berry, Sauce Gardner, Troy Polamalu, and Patrick Sertan. Additionally, each Wheel of Mutt season, we have a power up player. And this season's is Charles Woodson, as you see right here. Now, this is a bit of an unorthodox one. We're usually using the Power Up Legends. Let me show you why this Charles Woodson is so awesome. So right now, Charles Woodson is an 89 overall corner. Not so great, but this 89 Charles Woodson has 97 speed. It's a crazy corner. Now, in order to power up this Charles Woodson, he gets one power up for every significant stat. A significant stat for a defensive player is a sack, a forced fumble, a fumble recovery, an interception, a tackle for loss, a touchdown, and a pick two. Now, the reason Charles Woodson is such an awesome candidate for this is Charles Woodson has six cards, and they're very linear. So, we start with the 89 overall Charles Woodson, who's boosted to a 90. If I can power him up, I get the 91 Charles Woodson. If I can power him up, I get the 93. If I can power him up, I get the 95. If I can power him up, I get the 97 wide receiver, who then I would need to get a touchdown with on offense. And one once I get that touchdown with Charles Woodson on offense, I get the gold 99 ultimate legend Charles Woodson, who has 99 speed, damn near 99 everything. He's 6 foot 1, 202, and he's going to get incredible discounted abilities. So this is an awesome power up player. I can't wait to use it this season. But that's it. If you're brand new or you've been watching for six plus years, you're fully caught up right now. We have an 81 overall team. Let's talk about all the horrible things that we need to mitigate in these first couple episodes. So five wins gets us to the playoffs, but three losses and we lose this season again, and then I just have to hang up the towel. We have no left or right side of our offensive line. We have no quarterback or halfback. We're missing a third wide receiver. We don't have depth at tight end, which isn't the end of the world, but I do use two tight ends. We have no user middle linebacker, no left outside linebacker. My strong safety, Palomalu, is very slow and a little outdated. Entirely no defensive line. So obviously, it's a lot more stuff than we can really shore up in one episode, but luckily, this entire season is in one video, so... 
Bros. I'm gonna do everything I can to get this back to a God Squad and actually go win a Super Bowl this time. Now, there is one thing I get to do before we go into today. For making the Super Bowl, you get a midfield pack. It's like a poverty trophy for just making it. So I do get to open this pack for making the Super Bowl last season, but obviously if I won it, this would be a whole lot better. Granted, if I won the Super Bowl, you wouldn't be seeing this video, so maybe it's a blessing in disguise. We get Henry Anderson, who hilariously is an upgrade for us. Deontay Thompson won't go anywhere. We do get an elite Derek Rivers, hilariously also an upgrade on this team, and Josh Johnson is also technically an upgrade on this team. So Derek Rivers can come in at right end, and Henry Anderson can go at left end. That should make us tech maybe an 83 overall. Maybe just an 82, but still. 82 overall. Hey, I will take whatever I can get. All right, gentlemen, the first wheel spin of the grand finale. We need a Super Bowl here, gentlemen. That's the only goal. So let's see how we get there. TVP until 90 plus. Damn, we are starting out. Starting out gambling, boys. So I'm gonna open these training variety packs until I get a 90 overall player or better. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know if there are limiteds in the store right now. Most likely, we're just gonna get a decent Redux player. This won't be anything too special, although it, it is possible we get something crazy. Hey, Redux! Whoa! Oh my god! Dude, I, I'm not kidding you. This is literally the best thing you could possibly pull. There are no Reduxes higher than 97 in the game right now. Holy shit, you could get a Redux between 89 and 9. Oh my god, we actually did it! Hey, and guess what? It's D-line, baby. Gets edge threat or inside stuff for 1 AP, double or nothing, tackle supreme, and defensive rally for free. I'm gonna give him defensive rally and edge threat, and that is an awesome brand new right end, Frank Clark. That is insane that that wheelsman just got us that. Hey, an amazing start! We'll move to wheel spin number two. I cannot believe we just got that. That's amazing. All right, our second wheel spin is all small and medium eggs, and we choose one player. Damn. Okay, my forethought has finally paid off. I know the Easter promo was a while ago, but I saved all these on the account just because I wanted to potentially do this, and now I'm going to get to. So we can open every single one of these small eggs and medium eggs, and I get to choose one player that pops out of them. So 88 Orlando Brown is our first one. I have to imagine that will not be my choice. Next small eggs got a playoff player. It's 88 Taron Johnson. I imagine that won't be my decision either. Now I've got some medium eggs to check out. First one is... No way. <laughs> what are the odds? What are the odds? That's so weird. We get 91 Charles Woodson. Next medium egg. Okay, so it looks like these are all gridiron guardian eggs. So actually the odds are probably pretty good that I got Charles Woodson there. Will Hernandez is next. These can have 96s in them and higher. So we just need that to happen one time out of all of them. It'll be all right. So another medium egg here. 91 to Quan Graham. Not what we're looking for. This small egg. I think is Legends... No, it's AKA. So our first one is 88 Revis Island. Best case scenario, I think would be a middle linebacker. Next one is a Sugar Rush Joshua Kelly. And after that in the small egg is another Sugar Rush Travis Gibson, 93 left end. That is our best so far. So Travis Gibson is the front runner, I'd say. He'd go across from Frank Clark and it wouldn't be a bad option. Absolutely not. My killed in this five foot nine, I think. Unless I'm thinking of somebody else either way. Merlin Olsen, 87, no thank you. Starting out with... 92 Maurice Jones Drew. Yo, I could do that. Plaxico Burris 91 is up next. So this is a team of the week. Ag Maurice Jones Drew. Damn, that's kind of heat, man. 97 Marcus Jones. We're gonna get 94 Marshall Falk. I feel obligated to take that right now. Lots of medium eggs left though. And the medium eggs have a really good chance to give me at least 196 out of all of them. First medium egg is the Legends egg. 93 Jim Taylor. I would still put in Marshall Falk over him for sure. Next medium egg egg is 94 Mark Brunel. Do I take Brunel for QB over Marshall Folk? I feel like it'd be nice to take Brunel and then just upgrade him down the line. But I definitely need a quarterback. This medium egg is a ghost of months. Oh, dude, that wheel shields is so good. Fuck, that wheel shields is really good, but I just feel like I have to take a QB. Get a series to Redux. Brashad Perriman, definitely not gonna take him. A few more medium eggs still in here. And our final small egg is a Legends player. It is 87 Ronnie Law. I think I have to take a quarterback right now just so that I have one no matter what. We're gonna take 94 Mark Brunel. He's a field general 94 overall. He could get hot route master, but it's five Damn. AP. I'm gonna give him set feet lead because I know that's a super important ability. And I'll also give him run and gun with 87 speed and really solid throw accuracies. He's gonna be good for now. That takes us to our third and final wheel spin 
for this first game. I'm really hoping we can get packs here. If we get packs, we can actually fill some of these holes. Damn it! Oh, that's such a good spin. It's such a good spin. I'm just worried that this isn't going to be enough for us to win the game here. So an AKA jackpot is any AKA player in the game that includes the AKA new class players. There are literally so many good ones. It's kind of hard to choose here. Definitely leaning towards going with a halfback here. These three halfbacks are all just fucking disgusting. The Flash is insanely good. Gus the Bus is insanely good. And Saquads is also obviously insanely good. They all get their crazy AKA ability. I think I'm gonna go with the Flash, Cordero Patterson. I think there's a reason he's so much more expensive than everybody else, and I think there's a reason I see him so often in my online games. Now, one other thing that I am personally keeping in mind just looking at my team right now, the challenge wheel. If I complete the challenge wheel, I have two options. I can take a pack from the store, or I can salvage one player on my team. And right now, the obvious salvage to me, if I were to lose, would be Cordero Patterson, the Flash. So on the Flash, I had to give him Phenom. High chance to win interactions versus the first defender, which is crazy. Tank and backfield master. We're just gonna have to gauge how this game goes. If it's super difficult, I'll just focus on the challenge wheel and Charles Woodson. But if it's winnable, I want the win. And before our first game, of course, is the challenge wheel. Completing this challenge, we'll salvage a player if we lose or one pack. Ooh. Ooh, this is gonna be so hard with Brunel out there, bro. I maybe have completed this challenge one time. 88% completion with my quarterback. Opponent's team is absolutely cracked. Alrighty, boys. We just gotta clutch up, baby. Ooh, nickel 2-4 should have Woodson in. It has Woodson where? Where are you? Oh, he's gotta be in, right? He might not be in at all. He's looking for the deep post. Oh, get up. Damn, nice pass. Nice pass. Oh, he did not come down with that. We trust Woodson in man coverage. It looks like he's gonna just bomb me out over here. Yeah, he's gonna. He's going right at Woodson. Oh, no, he's not. He went to Tyreek Hill. Nice pass. Big hit. We'll take that. Can we get Randall C? Ah, shit. I can't. Oh, he's gonna fucking score now, too. Big hit. Okay, okay, okay. Good, decent stop, actually, to get him on first and goal there. I'm on Woodson. Oh, he's got the left side. No, he doesn't. Oh, what the hell? Kind of had a weird animation when I switched on. I, like, bumped off him. Darn it. 7-0. to zero. Easy tutty for him. See what we can do here on offense. Hawkinson is wide open. Great throw. Oh, Brunel. Second and seven. There's Hawkinson again. Does that count as an incomplete? Honestly, I'm not too mad just because I think winning this game would be so, so impossible anyway. But how the fuck did I just fumble on the second pass of the game? I have already decided what I'm gonna do. Rather than trying to come back down 14 to zero with an 85 overall team, I'm just gonna hold on to my 100% completion percentage. I'm gonna complete this challenge. I'm gonna keep the flash and we'll go from there. Like that's fuck, like how am I gonna beat that, bro? What the fuck was that? Nice blocking, gentlemen. Hey, listen, hey, listen, listen, the Nigerian nightmare, you're kidding me, oh my fucking god, and also that's supposed to be the flash in, that's not supposed to be the Nigerian nightmare in, I'm gonna run to the right side, uh, okay, all right, I, str I, I caught lightning in a jar once, I don't think I can do it again, let's give me play action, <laughs> shit, god he's fast, nice, way to catch him, Nice pass. Woodson to the Q. Oh! <laughs> I was so close. But he threw it quick, made a nice play. Again, it doesn't matter. I don't see the realisticness of me winning this game. So we just, we got to make plays where and when we can and get our upgrades. Let me make sure that Brunel. Yep, Brunel's completion percentage right now is still 100%. Bringing out the silver punter for a punt here. Is that a dot? That was not a punt dot. That is a returnable fucking punt. Oh, boy. All right, Charles Woodson. You're back on the clock, buddy. That's mine. Go, Woodson. Shit. God, this guy. He's throwing too quick, man. Motions Gus the bus. Oh, come on. Oh, he wanted it, I thought. Dude, this guy's good. Yeah, come on, man. You're winning by so much. Who cares? Why are you QB sneaking? TFL? I legitimately do not benefit from playing offense, so I'm just gonna punt this ball again. Hey, we got a sack, which is pretty dope, but it's it's not actually what I needed or wanted. <gasps> Woodson. Oh, I got so fucking close. Did he still throw a laser? Wow. Goes to a handoff. Yeah, that's uh, that's tough. 
97 speed. Look at how much ground we had to cover. All right, the strat. The strat is officially fucking cracked. This is perfect. Two upgrades for the interception and the touchdown on Charles Woodson. And obviously we're going to lose. So my challenge wheel of 100% completion will go through. We can salvage the flash and we'll move into next episode a little bit stronger despite losing the ball game. That's so amazing. Shit. Yeah. Why did I kick off? Why did I do that? Obviously this is going to happen. Look at Woodson though. All right, boys. <laughs> losing the game 45 to 12. It's very rare that I'd ever say that's a good thing. But in this very specific scenario, I am super happy. Mark Purnell goes two for two and 100% completion. GG's to my opponent. Honestly, even if I had a really good team, that would have probably been a very, very good game. He was good. So let's start with the important stuff. Number one, Mark Brunel is out of the lineup since we lost. I'll use my completed challenge wheel to salvage the flash. And then we also lose 97 overall Frank Clark. Luckily, I do still have that Derek Rivers from the midfield pack. So I'll put him in. All right. So this is what the team looks like right now, except 89 Charles Woodson gets one upgrade to 91 and another upgrade to 93. Next up is the 95, then the 97 wide receiver, and then the gold 99 corner. And the gold 99 Charles Woodson will be our new starting corner because he is actually better than Sauce and PS2. All right, let's see how we can add to our team with our first wheel spin of the second game. We're 0-1 right now, so gotta get a win! Ring of Honor jackpot? Who the fuck do I take? I can't take Barry. I guess we could take Randy Moss, but I've got two good wide receivers. I think I'd take Lawrence Taylor. In fact, we briefly had Lawrence Taylor in the past, so it'll be exciting to have him back. Gold 99, right outside linebacker, Lawrence Taylor from the Ring of Honor promo. 6'3", 95 speed, 99 block shot, 99 power moves, 98 finesse. Now, my options were Barry Sanders, Randy Moss, Primetime, and Tony Gonzalez. I've got corners. I've got a tight end. I've got a halfback. I've got two good wide receivers, so easy decision for me to take Lawrence Taylor here. Damn. Our first wheel spin, an absolute no-brainer. I'll get him in the lineup with abilities after we get our other two wheel spins. So let's move into this for now. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Wow, those are like two of the only spins that he can even guarantee a gold 99. And we just back to back them. The draft promo. NFL draft promo is loaded with gold 99s. There's set gold 99s and there's limited gold 99s like Tredavious White and Debo Samuel. Now there is a nasty user middle linebacker in Brian Erlacher, but there's also a crazy quarterback in gold 99, Cam Newton. Honestly, I know this sounds so weird, but I, I actually... I actually think my best bet is not to go quarterback here, but to keep loading up my defense. My defense is actually really close to being good right now, especially since I just added Lawrence Taylor. And I'm not going to win with an okay defense and an okay offense. Something has to be really good. I actually think I take hold 99 Brian Erlacher as my user. I put Micah and Lawrence Taylor on the edges, and hopefully my defense can carry me to a win. 6'4", 258. His change of direction is okay at 89. It's not that good. But 95 speed, 98 block shot, 99 hit power. I know this is so weird without having a quarterback, but I'm just going to bank on getting a quarterback in my next wheel spin. I think we, we get defense so fucking cracked that I can actually carry with defense. I'm going Brian Erlacher. All right, boys, that was only a good call if I can choose a quarterback here. So this wheel spin has to give me a choice of some variety. Oh my God. No. Oh no. Okay, let's choose our 98 quarterback first. I think L knows who Lamar Jackson is. So the way this wheel spin works, I give L a choice. I just name a really good player and a really bad player and she has to choose. She has fumbled the bag on this wheel spin twice. She is 0 for 2. All right, now I need you to make a choice. Mike White or Lamar Jackson? Lamar Jackson. Yes! I knew it! I knew you knew Lamar Jackson. He's the quarterback, isn't he? He's the quarterback. Lamar Jackson is one of my top three favorite NFL players. I still can't remember who the third one is. <laughs> <laughs> it's Juju Lamar and someone else. Ooh, this card's nasty. All right, I'll get out. I gotta, dude, come on. I gotta get after it. This is a massive episode. Two gold 99s and a 98 overall quarterback on the line. So even if I completed my challenge wheel and lost, I would have to give up some seriously God Squad players. Ryan 
Urlacher, we definitely have to give him Lurker. But since he is a draft gold 99, I think he gets multiple discounted abilities, like really good ones. So Lurker for zero, Enforcer for zero, Inside Stuff for zero. Start with Lurker. Tackle Supreme, get Crusher for one. Gotta go Crusher for one, always. We even could go Film Study. Shows offensive plays after repeated play calls. I'm gonna run Film Study. And Lamar, I'm giving Run and Gun. Hot Route Master. Pass Lead Elite. And Gunslinger. All right, boys. We have a lot of 99s on the line here. And we gotta get a win. Here's our challenge wheel. It's to get 40 fantasy points with one player. Dude, we just added some serious weapons though. Lamar Jackson. We've got Cordero Patterson in the backfield. I've got solid wide receivers. Trash O-line still. The O-line is a huge issue. But my defense actually looks really good. Opponents got Brady, Keyshawn, and CD Lamb. All right. Hey, we got Brian Erlacher, a brand new gold 99 on the squad. A Cowboys themed team. I need 40 fantasy points with one player. Could it be the Flash? Hey, we're starting out with a reception in two yards. It could be him. Hey, look at Lamar. I got a blocker. Damn. He's on Randy Gregory. He's bailing. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where's your user going? Just gonna hit this. Ooh, he's on it though. A nice catch from Justin Jefferson. Second and two, we're gonna go with a run. Solid block, O-line. For being silvers, I'm very impressed. First and 10, we got five yards with him. What a route from the flash. Can you get in the end zone though? Oh, okay, good route from the flash. Keep going, keep going, good ball, let's go. That's what we needed. I'm gonna run this ball right side. Ah, uh, shit. Hey, Lawrence Taylor screams off the edge. Oh, get there. Ooh, he overthrew it. Damn, that could have been an INT. Shit. Oh, and Woodson's too damn slow. Good angle from Pat Sertan. Could very well be a run. Oh, it is. Eric Terry! Oh, another handoff. Shit. I honestly, God, I just didn't expect that. I was too worried about Woodson. First and 10. There's Flash wide open. Gonna get, ooh, very solid hard cut. Take 11 yards. Six for six, 62 yards, and a touchdown from Lamar Jackson. That touchdown went to the Flash. Feed to Megatron Beauty. Identifier showed me he was on that safety. That was a risky call by him. Ooh, cut it back. Nice broken tackle. Another one. He's on Micah. He doesn't see Flash. Oh, and a bad pass from Lamar Jackson. Had a shot there, though. Flash. Flash. Shit. I probably should have stepped up. Oh, my God. My kicker is so dog shit, I can't kick a 48-yard field goal. I think Hawkinson finds a seam for this. Nope, nope, nope. Charles Haley dropped back. Lamar, you gotta go. Lamar, you gotta go. Yeah, I knew he was gonna do that. No way that got fucking a coin. Okay, it worked. It worked. Oh, film study. We can see the play. Yep. Just gonna run commit middle. Thanks to film study. Thank you, Erlach. Okay, no huddle, but this is a pass now. We're gonna guess pass. Yep. Up there! Let's go! Pitching Erlacher. Oh my god, I'm a psycho. I'm a fucking psycho! But it might have worked! But don't worry, fucking Tom Brady's got 99 speed. What a pitch! Oh my god. Is this man? It's not. That's oh, it is man, actually, but Megatron's there anyway. Okay. I don't know who's supposed to be on it. Megatron. Window! What? What? Why? Oh my god, he's fucking button it! Oh, he's wide open. Why would you miss that? Oh, and now he's good. Oh, he caught it. Thank God. What the fuck? Oh my god. All right, whatever. We got it back. We got it back. I'm happy about that. That shit's crazy, though. What's going on there? What the fuck are these throws? Who the f You're a 98 overall. I, I have to have Fearless. I gotta get rid of Pass Lead Elite, Hot Rod Master, or Gunslinger. Yep, go down. No, go down. Thank you. Got my timeout off. I'll take my field goal to make this 9 to 7. Oh my God, that was a stressful drive. But Katie York is able to put it in. Whoo. He's attacking Woodson. Woodson got it. Let's go. Charles Woodson with an upgrade. Hawkinson. Got him! Oh my god! It might be a 99 yard tutty if we can outrun him! Come on, Diggs! Come on, Diggs! Let's go! Hawkinson might get 40. How much is Hawk at right now? Holy shit! A 99 yard touchdown reception and a 9 point lead for the pipe layers. Oh my god, that was nasty. Did we need that, boys, or did we need that? Holy shit, I was so scared. Oh, he's got halfback big time. Oh, Woodson, just get up. <laughs> 
Woodson almost just got him for his fumble. Got him out the... Oh, no. Doesn't have anything because Lawrence Taylor got home. Come on. Keep sending the heat, boys. Yup. Lawrence Taylor back to back. He has the right side seam open. Ooh, he throws a laser over to Woodson's side. Oh, damn. He feeds it into CeeDee Lamb. Nice pass, man. That's ballsy. Oh, we can see his play. It's just guess pass, boys. We know what he's doing. I see the halfback. Let's go. No, oh, he doesn't get anything. Lawrence Taylor has four, four sacks. Dude, holy shit. Brady's in hell. Brian Erlacher with a sack. It's fourth and 21. Oh, uh, this is a corner route. It is, it is. Oh, I knew it. I knew it too. Fuck. I could have just had another one with Woodson. Just keep ticking the clock. I don't want him to score right now. That's the worst case scenario. I'm there. I'm there. I knew it. Go, Erlacher. Go. Come on, buddy. Oh, do I pitch this? No, he can go. Oh my God, he can go. Erlacher. Come on. No, he's gonna quit. Yes! Oh my god, boys. Let's go! Okay, so that's a few things for us there. Number one, no challenge wheel, but we do get to spin the rage quit wheel since that's a rage quit. Number two, I gotta put fearless on Lamar. I'm gonna go without gunsling, and I'll just give him this one AP fearless. We keep everyone we added, which is so amazing. And Woodson gets an upgrade to the 95 overall. So now we get the 95 Christmas Charles Woodson. He also gets pick artist for free, so we'll throw an ability on him. Also, I can't believe I didn't realize this before, Four, but Megatron gets deep out elite and route tech for one AP and I was just running route tech before so that was kind of dumb of me but either way he's got it now all right boys the rage quit wheel is up now I believe I have pack options on here so that'd be the best case scenario if not I would take a jackpot which I think that is oh big one right now hilariously the biggest problems on my team are kicker and offensive line I think I'm gonna get a right tackle I'm gonna get a right tackle with that and we're actually picking up a player who we used to have on a wheel of mutt maybe two or three seasons ago, which is the Anthony Munoz left tackle. It gets edge protector for one AP, which is exactly what you need. And he's a 95 overall. Edge protector for one AP on Anthony Munoz. Great strength, size, stats. I mean, this is amazing. All right, boys. So we move into game three. We're one and one. And the team just got a hell of a lot better. I think I might even just dedicate this whole next three wheel spins to offensive line if I can. We'll see if I'm given the choice here. All right, boys. Our first wheel spin, by the way, Charles Woodson is one upgrade away from being a wide receiver. So that would be pretty dope to get for right now. Yes. Yes. This is so much better than the training variety pack one. Except hilariously, that training variety pack one actually ended up being really good. But I get to reroll until I get a 92 overall or better player. I'm going to do the draft players reroll. The lowest is the 91s. A lot of the times these are 91s. John Ross, for example. So it's kind of perfect. So we could get, I think, a 93, a 96, or a gold 99. So pretty much all of them will be upgrades for this team to 90. I was going to talk shit about this, but this is actually an upgrade. I do need an MLB 2 because my MLB 2 comes in in that 6-1 formation I run. Or does he? Maybe he actually doesn't. Maybe I'm full of shit. I might be full of shit. This might not help us. But hey, you know what we do have, though? We have a Chicago Bears interior line. Erlacher and Jack Sanborn. Pretty dope. The old and the new. That first spin did not go as good as I was hoping, but that's okay. I just want to be able to pick up some offensive line. So our next wheel spin here is going to snag us. Oh, yes. Oh, let's go. So we get two spins on the Wheel of Coins. We add these together and we can spend that much on one player. The market is pretty tanked right now too. So low key, this could be insane. Our first one is not going to be good. That's going to be 10K. Yikes. We got to get 500K or 100K on the second one. So 10K on our first one. That's going to be 500K. Sit, sit. Yes. Good boy. 510,000 coins to spend on one player. I feel like I take either D-line or O-line. I think I'm going to go O-line. I'm actually going to go right tackle. I'm going to get a nasty right tackle. And you know who I'm going to get here? There is a team of the year, Lane Johnson, who I am very much hoping is under 510K. Lane Johnson for 506. Holy fuck. Holy shit. Yes. Oh my God. It's like written in the stars, baby. Are you kidding? Lane Johnson, team of the year, 506. 
thousand coins. For abilities, I believe I run Edge Protector for zero and Secure Protector for one. You could also run Nasty Streak, but I'm just gonna go Secure and Edge just for one total. That is one hell of an alignment. 6 6 3 25. Run blocks crazy, pass box crazy. And he now pairs with Munoz. They both have Edge Protector. That's so good. But I've got a third and final wheel spin, so we're gonna start there. My third and final wheel spin. Hey, you know what? Usually this is a shitty wheel spin, but this is pretty good. Two 93 overall players. I could finish my O-line. I think I'm going to. I'm going to finish my O-line right now, and we can spend the rest of the episodes working on D-line. And, you know, eventually I'd like to get Palomalu out of there. There's a lot of players I'd like to upgrade. Let's do guards right now. That's huge. In fact, I know exactly who I'm getting at right guard because he's so consistently amazing. And that is Zach Martin's harvest card. Zach Martin's harvest card goes so hard. So 93 overall harvest redux Zach Martin as our first right guard. And at left guard, I'm going to grab Kenyon Green. And you know, I'm not going to lie. I'm very happy I got Lamar. You know, it's nice to have a 98 overall quarterback, but right now I don't like Lamar. Here's why I don't like Lamar. It's five AP to have a decent Lamar. One AP for fearless. Two for pass lead elite and two more for high raw master. That's not good. That's expensive. So I would actually down the line like to upgrade quarterback away from Lamar into somebody who gets better discounted abilities. Shame on EA for making it that way, but that's just how it's got to be. So Zach Martin will come in at right guard and Kenyon Green will come in at left guard. Moving our squad to a 92 overall. They could get abilities, but we're kind of maxed out right now. Is Lamar so damn expensive? Turn him on. Munoz is another one, so I got to take one AP off of somebody. Yeah, we don't got the room for this. Really sucks. I'm going to take route tech off of Megatron. And yeah, hopefully down the line, maybe we get Super Bowl MVP Mahomes or really anybody else. Not Lamar, man. 5 AP is crazy. Either way, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I currently have a win and I have severely upgraded, literally added four offense of linemen the rage quit wheel and two wheel spins got me that and on top of that we added jack sanborn who i don't think is gonna do much of anything but it's still cool to you know have him in there gotta get a kicker and a punter too i really would like a kicker and a punter all right gentlemen 94 offense 91 defense we're starting to get closer to being competitive here i like it and of course a challenge wheel which has proven to be clutch already this season our challenge wheel is... It's all about the fantasy points right now, dude. And we almost kind of got this. So this is halfback 30 fantasy points, which is kind of perfect because I was going to go for him anyway. Top three, still the same. His top three is that Mahomes I want, Demario Davis, and he's got the gold 99 ring of honor, Randy Moss. You know, I'm actually going to try kicking off. I feel like I have pretty reputable players on my squad here. Can we get there? Oh yeah, oh yeah, boys. Hey, we can kick off. That's a really good start. First and 10, boys. He's gonna hand this one off to Saquads, and he's moving early. No bueno. Throws half back. Oh, big hit. Hey, there we go, PS2. Good hit. Shoe clock in the first quarter. This game will feel good to win, boys. I'm usered on Randy Moss right now. Throws half back. Nice tackle, Palomalu. It's third in inches. Oh, nice throw though. Wide open to the unicorn. Steps out of bounds, and now I gotta wait another 30 seconds before he calls a play. This is gonna feel so good to win. What? Fuck you, dude. Look at this. Every time, 10 seconds on the dot, he'll call it. <laughs> Get there! Oh, we almost got the acrobat, but not quite. And now we gotta wait until there's 10 seconds on that clock again. He's manually waiting until that shit says 10, and then he presses A. That's so fucked up, man. Just put shoe clock on at the least. Look at this. He's gonna do it again. Okay, that's how he did it at 13. This is an improvement, gentlemen. He's looking for a corner route, but I'm on it. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Big hit from Micah. Second and six. Nice work. What did he do out of this last time? I'm gonna send a blitz. I just don't remember what he did. Oh, it's just a handoff. He could have scored that pretty easily, but I think he fumbled the bag there a little bit. First and goal. He has almost used the entire first quarter without turning two clock on. This man is sent straight from hell to make my life worse. And guess what? We're still going to ball out. A pass. Oh, and he drops it. Third and goal. This will be the most satisfying stop in the world. Come on, boys. If he runs it, I'm in so much trouble. Oh, that's... Erlacher! Erlacher sheds it. Savage. Erlacher made that play all by himself right there. Oh my god, you did all of that to kick a fucking field goal? 
Oh my god, a 4 minute 30 second no shoe clock drive to kick a fucking field goal from the 5. I hate you, bro. I hate you. But whatever, that's a good stop. That works for me. So we need 30 fantasy points with our halfback as our challenge. I'm gonna try to run right at him. We got O-lineman now, boys. We got O-lineman now! I'm gonna block Hawkinson here, so I got a little bit of time, hopefully. Megatron under. See how this looks. Halfback. Halfback, let's go! Little Juke and Flash, are you there? Third and one. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm gonna go a stretch to the left this time. I think we got the blockers for this. Oh, yeah, boys. Let's go. Gonna pick up about six there. You wanna see Chew Clock, buddy? I'll Chew Clock. I'll score with no time left. And then you're stuck with three points, and I get the ball at half. I got nine plus episodes of Wheel of Mutt to do in one video. Okay, you think I got time for your shit? Second and five. I'm going at the middle again. Oh, nice cut from the flash there. Oh, yeah, there's flash again. Oh, my God. Did you get that? Oh, he did. He got it just barely, but he did get it. First and 10. Wow, dude, literally because he's because it's in his right arm. That thing barely got across. Oh, I have him over the top to the flash. One hell of a throw. It's first and 10 and the clock ticks. All right, let's see if we can hit him with the play action. I've had success with this in the past against man coverage, but will we have success now? I'm not seeing a lot of success there. Yeesh. Yeesh. This man coverage is bullying me. Oh, I, I can take off. Yes. Lamar with all this room and I'm out of bounds. 15 seconds on the 11. Fuck your man coverage. Let's go, Lamar. Lamar is a savage right now, man. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I had him. I had Jefferson. I'm going to take a couple yards here. Two yards. Nine seconds on the clock. I had Jefferson. This touchdown, though, is really important to me. Flash. God, no, no, no. Oh, what a spectacular play. Should be a tutty. Wow, he got bailed out. All right, you take your bailout, my friend. You take your bailout. Cade York will put this in. That hurts. That hurts bad. That should have been a tutty. Three to three, starting with the ball. Gotta go down and score. I'm gonna switch to PA double post. This is a play I used to run a lot to beat man coverage. Let's just see how this looks. And a good start from Hawkinson. A great start from Hawkinson. Exactly what we're looking for. Gotta remember, I can run the ball. I have the O-line for it. Ooh, Hawkinson again? <gasps> what? <laughs> Fuck, man. I can't play any better. Third and seven. Luckily, nope, nope. Leon fucking Sandcastle. And Lamar gets trucked. And he's gonna house this. Unfucking believable, man. Fuck this game. Perfect accuracy drop. Not even a drop. He never touched it. That's a pretty good route from Justin Jefferson. Oh, yeah. We like that. Let's go get back on the board, boys. Let's go get back on the board right now. See if he goes to guard it. He does go to guard it, but that means he leaves Jefferson again. Nice catch from Jefferson. I can continue to switch on and throw that, I think. He goes to it that time. You're kidding me, Lamar! Why did you reset? Oh, Lamar resets his fucking feet to throw the throw the ball away. Just fucking chuck it, man. You're out of the pocket. Just chuck it. Second and 24. Hawkinson caught it. Big catch. Third and eight. Hawkinson. Fourth and eight, I actually had him there. I had Hawkinson wide open, but I hit him too late. I think Jefferson's open on the post route. He is, he's wide open. What a catch! Go Jake Jettas! Fourth and eight! Massive pickup. He calls the timeout, he doesn't like what he sees. That's music to my ears. Justin Jefferson just came up massive, massive on fourth and eight. Go right at the middle! Ooh, Flash got two yards out of that. Oh, wait a minute. Lamar? Lamar! <laughs> Cheeky! Gee! Woo! The stop and go! Got him! That was nasty. He could have stepped up, made that play. I could have fumbled. We could have been in so much trouble there. But we clutched up. We make this ball game 10 to 10. His only touchdown is a pick six. It's a fucking pick six after we missed a wide open pass. We are the first to score an offensive touchdown. Big, boys. This is big. Four minutes, 30 seconds left in this game. Why did Erlacher just get flattened? 
just because of nasty streak? I'm fighting my ass off for these yards. Inside zone for 40. Perfectly tied up. It all comes down to the fourth fucking quarter. Wow. I got to go follow his corner route. It's with Unicorn. Unicorn's got the corner. Yes, he does. Oh, yeah. Clamped. Let's go! Read him like a book. Great fucking defense, boys. Let's get it. Knew it was coming. Now I'm sending the heat. Now I send the heat. Oh, no! That was perfect defense! Oh, you're shitting me! Oh my god, I just mirrored him! Look at that! Oh, I have Lurker! That's an iron fucking T! Oh my god, you're fucking me! Unbelievable, this is inside zone. I'm bringing Barry down. Oh, unbelievable. He's gonna manually chew the clap. Oh, I just got throttled. Man, I'm frustrated. Yeah, fuck you! Let my computer do it! Let computer or lacquer have it! Let's go! Alright, boys. Moment of truth. Two minutes and 46 seconds. It ain't over until it's over. Hawk and socks? You dog! Hawk and socks wide open! Oh, yeah. Oh, you got him. Jefferson! Savage! What a catch! Two minute warning. Is Katie York gonna come in here for a game winner? Jefferson! What a route! Let's go! In range! First and 10. I don't know if I have my fantasy points in my hat bag, though. I wish I had those. I'll show you what two clock looks like, buddy. Oh, look at those blocks. Look at those blocks. Yeah! Let's fucking go! My kicker is Cade York, though. Like, it is shankable. It is very shankable. Gonna go left side. He kind of sees it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute! The flash. Holy shit. First thing go, I'm just gonna let this go to one. And I'm gonna kick it. Four... Three. I'll let it go to two. It's all the same. <laughs> Let's go! Fuck this fraud. Manual two clock. Huh? Iced Kate York doesn't give a flying fuck. That's down the middle and it's ball game. Let's go! Yes, sir! Oh, that was amazing. Game three. A Wheel of Mutt classic right there. A Wheel of Mutt classic. All right, I gotta see my stats though because my challenge wheel, I don't know about it. Lamar with an all right game. No touchdowns, threw an interception, but Lamar did run in for the clutchest touchdown of the game. Nine for 57 with the flash. Three for 18 with Lamar. Receiving the flash is four for 35. Jefferson, five for 119. So the flash had like seven... I don't know, he may have maybe 13 fantasy points, but definitely not 30. But he did have a really, really, really good game. I cannot believe that I did not get the interception right here, man. Holy shit, look at this textbook defense, man. Maybe Erlacher's just not a good user. That's supposed to be an INT every time. Textbook coverage on the out route, lurker. I mean, that's just fucked up. Luckily, his very next throw is a pass to computer Brian Erlacher, who decides he's better as a computer, I guess, and he snags it. What a game, gentlemen! That was massive. No challenge wheel, but we are now 2-1, and one, so we're one game closer to the playoffs. So moving into game four, we've got one wheel spin right here. We did not get another upgrade for Charles Woodson. Charles Woodson was not existing in that game, but that is okay. We get an insane... Dude, I'm getting cracked. I mean, it is the grand finale, right? So we should be getting cracked wheel spins. Top 10 98.99. It's just a top 12. I always do that. I'm sorry, boys. One player out of the first two rows when we sort 98.99 by time remaining. So that is out of these 12 players. There's Deion Jones Debo. There's Gold 99 Kevin Carter, Tyler Lockett, Jason Kelsey, Prime Time, Jeremy Chin, Akeem Talib, Nick Chubb, Kevin Glover, Gold 99 Larry Allen, Patrick Willis, and Ryan. Shazir. Damn. You know, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know much about this guy Kevin Carter, but my team needs defensive line. For 582,000 coins, we get gold 99 Kevin Carter. 6'5", 94 speed, 98 block shed, 99 power moves. Holy shit. That boy zooms. We're going with gold 99 Kevin Carter to start us out. I'll take it. Hey, I got the Rams Uni on. It's perfect. All right, our second wheel spin. We'll see what we can add to the squad. I think I want a kicker though. If I can, two times pack, 
coin value. I could definitely get a kicker here. So the way this works, I'm gonna open two packs and I sell everything in the packs. Whatever all of that was worth is how much I can spend on one player. I think the best pack for this is the Mission Mutt pack. 291 pluses and 182 plus. Cause at the very worst, if I just get 491s, they're still worth a really good amount. So 91, 84, 91. Damn, I got a kicker and a punter. I actually, I need those. So the 91s are selling for 19K a piece, it looks like. So this is 38,000 plus our kicker, Cameron Baker. The kicker is another 4,000. So we're at 42,000 right now. And the next pack starts out with an AKA player. It's the 93 Scottish. Oh, that's huge. That's gonna be worth a lot. Dude, now just give me a 90, better than a 91. Come on, better than a 91 right here. We're gonna get a beast, bam. So another 19K from each of them puts me to 80,000 coins and then 80,000 coins plus. He's worth 105? Holy shit, let's go. Looks like his median is 115, so we'll call it 115. 115 plus 80 is 195,000 coins to spend on one player. I'm taking a kicker. I am not leaving it up to Katie York anymore. I would like to be able to kick 50 plus yards. I might have just enough to get Greg Joseph. It just depends on what he's listed at. Oh my God, that is a brutal, brutal cock block. I have 195,000 coins. He's 195,600. That is a brutal cock block. I mean, I know I did kind of shitty rounded math, but I said 195, so I got to stick to it. It doesn't really matter because you can get 94 overall Justin Tucker, who is just as good for 80,000. And we're taking that. So Justin Tucker, I'm going to give him Zen kicker over 45. And I'll also give him clutch kicker immunity to ice the kicker. That takes us to our third and final wheel spin. Solid upgrade so far. I got a kicker, which I badly wanted. And our final wheel spin is yes. This will fill some holes in the team. Five separate packs, coins, or training. Now, before I do that, I do want to show you Gold 99 Kevin Carter. I gave him Edge Threat Elite and Run Stopper. We'll see how he plays, but his stats are amazing, so I'm super excited. So five separate packs. I'm going to start out with an NFL Draft Pack, see if maybe we can get a D-Tackle. This team has no D-Tackles at all, so it'd be awesome if we could just pick one up. Hatback Mark Ingram, not going to do us much. And Denzel Perriman, not either, unfortunate. Next pack, I'll do an Ultimate Legends pack. QB Montana, tight end Vernon Davis, a good backup tight end. All right, that's a really good start. Jackie Slater does not help. Drew Brees and Montana do not help. But Vernon Davis, I will get serious use out of Vernon Davis. I'll go weekly wild card. Again, these are separate packs. I cannot double up on a single pack. Go weekly wild cards here for right outside linebacker. A free safety. And lastly, another free safety, Tamar Hamlin. Damn. I guess I can put him at backup. That Tamar Hamlin went off last time I had him. Or maybe it was the 86. I think it was actually. It was actually the 86. Our fourth pack will be the Mission Mutt Pack. Hopefully we can get a little better odds this time. Get me something. Tressway, hey, I got a punter now, baby. Cavante Turpin, who will go in from Monra St. Brown. That is nice. Josh Jobs won't get any use. But Cavante Turpin. Solid. Our fifth and final pack. No D tackles yet. See if we can pick one up right now. With this pro elite pack, we'll start with a legend. John Randall, Dante Hall. So I'll still use Cavante, Khalif Raymond, a Caleb Evans, a Dory Jackson, get Trey Herndon, and an AKA player is Xavier Rhodes. Damn. Got like eight corners, no D tackles. Whatever, Kalia Davis is just gonna hold down the fort down there. So Amon Ra can now come out for Cavante Turpin. And honestly, this is a huge upgrade. Xander Horvath was my backup tight end and he was in on every single play I was running there at the end. 88 Vernon Davis also has 96 speed, which makes him significantly faster than Hawkinson. That's one hell of a backup tight end right there. All right, boys, squad's looking a lot better. An O-line that gets the job done. Some decent tight ends, awesome wide receivers, minus Cavante Turpin. An awesome backfield. And then defensively, we're still missing a D-line. We could upgrade Woodson. We could upgrade Palomalu. But my outside linebacker, middle linebacker, and left outside linebacker are insane. And we even got special teams now with Justin Tucker and Tressway. All right, boys. The challenge wheel is up next. Unable to complete it last time. I'd be very happy to complete it right now. Our challenge is to allow zero sacks. This is not one I get very often. But listen, I got a good offensive line right now. We can do this. Game number four, sitting at two and one. Let's see what we can do. He's got CD Lamb, Odell Beckham Jr., and Amari Cooper. His top three is all wide receivers. He's got some wide receiver abilities out there. All right. First and 10. He's gonna go with the stretch left side to Emmett Smith. 
Charles Woodson makes the tackle. Let's try and get Woodson that upgrade. I love Woodson wide receiver. Ryan Shazier QB, he's passing. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Good breakup, Sauce. Oh no, that was PS2. That's our prestige, PS2. Third and five, I'm gonna try the blitz. I'm gonna see if I can get to him before he can make some crazy play. Oh no, he's gonna throw a laser on me. He had so much time back there. Do it, do it! Come on! Erlacher! Erlacher's such a savage, man. I was talking a lot of shit about Erlacher after his, his miss last week, but comes down with a big one. Okay, so I can't get sacked, right? Well, what if I just ran the ball? What if I had a dominant run game? Then it wouldn't exactly matter, huh? And we're gonna start out with a dominant run. Let's go. Oh, he's a little more ready for this one, but a first down is a first down. First and 10. I'm gonna come out in I form, man. We've got the Nigerian nightmare, but we haven't really put him to use yet. Such a good blocker downfield. Yep, I'm gonna send it left side. Let's go, Okoye, get out there. Toss one, a flatten from Okoye, and I ran into fucking Hawkinson. Damn it. This is so unorthodox, it might work. I'm gonna run right at him here. Ooh, Okoye with a great block. The flash goes for seven, it's third and three. The ground and pound, am I really gonna do it? I'm going left side here. I think he actually has it. If we cut this up properly. Oh, good blocks. Shit, shit, wait, flash, flash, you dog. Oh my God, he's cracked. Holy shit. That was fucked up, man. That was so good. That was unbelievable that he just did that. All right, I'd rather throw the ball away, get intentional grounding than throw something stupid. Hawkinson has it, torched. Good catch, MRN. Haven't been sacked, got a turnover, up by a touchdown. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. What the fuck? You just gave him a blocked kick animation? The fuck is that? <laughs> that is the first time in all of Madden 23 that that has ever happened to me. Holy shit. Dude, and he, he tipped the ball, so it, it messed up the trajectory. I had no idea. That's crazy. I'm not even mad about that. It's kind of cool. I've never seen that happen. LT in the middle here. Oh, corner out. Damn, wide open. So Woods is right here. I can actually user him from this position. Oh, okay. Woodson, TFL. I don't know if they're gonna count that as a TFL. It's third and five and it was second and five prior to that. We'll have to see at the end of the game if I just got a Woodson upgrade or not. I have no idea. I'm guessing pass. I'm following it with Woodson. I got it. Woodson all the way across the field. And he's gone. Let's go! Oh no! I'll never know if that was a TFL or not. If that was a TFL, I'd have a gold 99 Woodson. Dude, Charles Woodson forces the rage quit. Wow, what a play. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? Just to make this simple, I am gonna give an upgrade to Woodson, but I'm not gonna take him to the gold 99. He definitely earned the INT. I am very questionable. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, I'm just questionable about the TFL. I don't know. Plus, honestly, it'll be fun to use the wide receiver. So let's earn it, boys. Let's earn it. So our next pickup is 97 overall wide receiver, Charles Woodson. And if we can get a touchdown with him, we earn ourselves gold 99 Charles Woodson. 98 speed. Nine, that's actually, he's actually a crazy good wide receiver. Just base. He gets six ability buckets. What the? F why? Why are you better than my starters? That's fucked up. Short out elite, and that's all I'll give him because it's free. Yeah, I don't want to spend actual AP on him, but hey, Ultimate Legend, Charles Woodson, my receiver, welcome. All right, boys, that is what you call a true rage quit. Our rage quit wheel spin is right here. Let's see what it's going to chalk us up to. Might be packs. I think that is packs. Three times store packs. All right. Let's go get those D tackles we wanted. Ooh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep doing the NFL draft pack because there is a 91 overall D tackle. So out of three of these packs, I definitely have a good shot of pulling him. Tyson Alualu. We get Mark Ingram again and Michael Bandy. No, thank you. There's also, yo, there's two. There's two 91 D tackles. I have to get it, right? There's Tyson Alualu and Michael Brockers. Ooh, no fucking way. No way. Third and five. Dude, it's gotta be. No, don't you dare give me a third Mark Ingram. I'm gonna cry. DJ Dallas, another halfback. And... Oh, shit. Phil Haynes, who I can't use either. Darn it, boys. The rage quit didn't get us much, but hey, a rage quit is a win, so that's always good. We're now three and one, and we move into the next game. All right, gentlemen, the first wheel spin of game number 
five now. Yeah, we're three and one. This is game five. It's a special teams jackpot. And honestly, since I just upgraded kicker, I'm going to take the Scottish Hammer. I've had Scottish Hammer before. He's such a good punter because he gives you those tier boosts. Any competitive team should have Scottish Hammer. He's a beast, bro. The Scottish Hammer! And importantly, he gives one agility, kick power, impact block, and hit power to kickers, punters, D-line, and linebackers. Hey, beautiful start, man. That's a, I need that punter on my squad, so I'm happy to have it. That's our first wheel spin. Our second wheel spin <laughs> a core elite pack a punched if we win the game so we get to add a bum but it turns into a jackpot for that player if we win the game and the player i'm gonna pick up is a d tackle i'm gonna pick up chris jones core elite not really gonna do much for my team i mean he technically is a starter so i am happy about that but if we can secure the win we get to upgrade him to his team of the year which as i say it his team of the year is not actually on the auction house right now. He does have a 98 overall team of the year, though. Worst case scenario, I'll pick up the Christmas Chris Jones for 95 and then just pick up the 98 when it's available. But hopefully when this game's over, he'll be on the auction house. He's still a big upgrade, though, compared to Kalia Davis. He's like God. That gives us our third and final wheel spin for game number five. A team of the year, Chris Jones on the line right now. And we get AKA position wheel. Oh, also the Scottish hammer on the line, of course. All right, boys, I can take any AKA player in the game, but they must be a left end. Is that good or do I already have left end? Oh shit, so Kevin Carter's left end, but that's okay. Whoever I get, I can move to right end. AKA new class, what do you have at left end? Oh my God, there are so many. Could get Mad Max Crosby, Demarcus Lawrence Tank, Greg Rousseau Groot, or Furious George. Honestly, I know who I'm taking. I do think that Furious George might be one of the best in the game, but I did just grab Chris Jones. So I want to take Max Crosby, Mad Max. 6'5", he's really fast, great block shed, power moves. I probably won't use his ability. He's just going to be my left end straight up. So I'm perfectly okay with this. A left end Max Crosby. Moving him to right end. So riding on today's game are some massive D-line upgrades and the best punter in the game. Mad Max over here at right end. Happy to have you, sir. Charles Woodson at wide receiver. Super excited about that. My offense looks amazing. I would really just like a tight end upgrade. Hawkinson has been clutching up, but his stats are just not there, bro. He's 92 speed. He's slow. At least at this point in the season. We're at 96 overall with a 97 offense and a 95 defense. Oh my God. Oh my God. I completed my challenge. I didn't get sacked. Holy shit. I completed my challenge. Holy shit. Wait a minute. I, I'm going for this. I get one pack from the store because I completed my challenge. I'm opening an NFL draft pack. Give me a D tackle. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Mark Ingram haunts my fucking packs. Are you kidding me, Mark Ingram? You're a fraud. Mark Ingram, you're actually a fraud, bro. That was the fifth Mark Ingram I got today. Oh my God. I guess completed my challenge and do me shit. Oh, that's so annoying. I even remembered. Sometimes I just straight up forget. All right, boys. We've got our spin on the challenge wheel for this game five right here with a lot of D-line up for grabs 10 receptions 100 yards and a touchdown for one player justin jefferson did this a couple games ago let's see if we can replicate it can't see his top three unless that's mine i'm hoping i can see his oh i can see his stabler wagner metcalf in seahawks stadium this is a seattle seahawks theme team this will be a fun one our opponent comes out in i form tight he's got the flash i think he's running that football baby all right boys Let's get over there with Erlacher. Over there with Sauce. He still picked up good yards, but we met him early. He's not going to be able to continue to run that with success, I don't think. Another run play. This one up the middle. Might have a ground and pound opponent here. Play action here. He's got... Uh-oh. Palomalu's torched. Yeah, he's torched. Oh, ho, 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 ho. he waited too long, man. He waited too long to throw that because he had that early. People throw that on me a lot. And that's where Palomalu gets me in trouble. We got a little build out there. He should have thrown that a lot sooner. He might not be coming right back to it. I'm going to guess pass here. I'm going to try and get the QB. He's going to go halfback. Oh, I knew it too. Whoa, super weird animation. He's got the corner out doesn't throw it oh my god he waits to throw that that's an int waiting to happen didn't get it there but we will get it again if he wants to try that shit again he's got over the middle no he doesn't oh dude you're just waiting to throw an int he is just oh he's right there right there thinking about it oh 
Oh, we got to him. Lawrence Taylor gets home. It's fourth and four. Does he take his points? He does not. He's going for it. Let's see if he goes with the whip route again. The whip route. Oh, nice throw. I don't know what he just did, but that was nasty. You got to respect that fourth and four gutsy play call gets the touchdown. But honestly, this guy's playing so sketchy, doing so much stupid shit. He's going to turn the ball over. So that's always good news. For the challenge wheel, I'm not going to force anything. I'm just going to play ball. And if something happens naturally, I'm going to go for it. But if not, I'm not taking it. Let's see how this looks. Woodson with an excellent route. Charles Woodson starting out with three yards. Nice work, buddy. Overstorm Brave is his defense of choice. Okay. Let's just go stretch right side. Unfortunately, there's a dude right there. But the flash always breaking his first tackle. Gotta love that. So he's blitzing in the middle for sure. I could probably just hit Hawkinson. Hawkinson! Yup! <laughs> Sketchy as fuck. But thank you, Threat Detector, for showing me what he was doing. I appreciate that. Just gonna run this left side, actually. Wow. I do not know how he did that. I don't know how he just waltzed his way through there, but he did. Continues to be Overstorm Brave. I'm gonna bring out the big guns. My favorite man beating play, play action, double post. I'm gonna give Vernon Davis a route here. I'm gonna post out of Jefferson. Let's see if he goes to guard. Ooh, he's double covered? And Neil got that? Damn. This is tight defense, man. This main cover just got me bottled up. I'm gonna have to win on defense. He's going PA shot seams. Yup! Got home! That's what we need, defense. First corner in the books. Second and 18. Oh, he runs the ball. No way. Big hit from Erlacher. I'll take that. It's a crusher hit. I got the corner right on the left. Yup. Oh, no. You think he's too deep, maybe? Wow, really? Damn, I, that's gonna get me in trouble a lot today. That Palomalu's gonna keep getting torched. 14-0. It's just gonna be Overstorm Brave every single play. Well, we just gotta find a way to beat it then. Gonna whip this one out to Megatron. That's a beautiful start. Justin Jefferson just put a beautiful route up. Gonna get me down to the 47. Good. Ah, damn it. Almost a good ball, but not quite. Jefferson, ooh, Megatron. I thought that was Jefferson. I get the ball at half, so if I can score here, get the ball at half and score again, I can make this 14 to 14. But we gotta execute this first. You know he's gonna give me some tough man coverage. Oh, the flash is wide fucking open. But he, oh, he got stuck. Shoot. That would have been perfect, man. It was so open. Kind of hoping he does the exact same thing. Yep, the exact same thing. Flash! Let's go! Take off! Beautiful. Down to the 20. I knew he was going to do that again. Let's get it. Had nobody there for it. Great run play. And the Flash is going to walk it down to the one yard line. Huge. Which is actually sick because I can, I can piece off even a little bit more clock here. Going to snap it at two. We're going to dive over the top. And the Flash is in. 7 to 14. The only problem is he has three timeouts. In a minute, so we can definitely, definitely score here. I might have to sub out Palomalu. Hey, but we're on the board. We know we can score. His defense isn't that good, so that's amazing. I went ahead and put Eric Berry in that spot now, and I'm going to manually cover it, and he's going to get sacked. Micah came in hot as hell. Throws that one quick. Sertan, what? How did you not get him, Sertan? Oh, no, he's attacking Palomalu again, and he got fucking mossed. Palomalu is dog shit, man. Just getting bullied left and right. He, he even covered him that time. He was covered. He's just too short. I mean, you're not wrong, but you didn't have to say it. I'm telling you guys, this Palomalu, even though he's a prestige, such a liability on this team. Ooh, what a nasty play. A deep wheel route. Honestly, though, three timeouts, 31 seconds, I can still score two. And then ball at half. So I'd have to make it 14 to 21 and then 21 to 21. I'm going to try something here. Let me see if this will bounce out of bounds. Yes! I knew it! I knew he was getting too aggressive with that shit. Let's go. I start on the 40 now. Three timeouts. I can easily score, but can I score a touchdown? Is the question. Oh, great ball. What a ball. Six seconds off, and we picked up so many yards. Okay, Megatron with another huge catch. 19 seconds left. I have one timeout. I think if I give Megatron a post, I can score. 
Oh, free play. I'm gonna go Woodson if I got a free play. He caught it. I decline. Is the clock moving? I don't know if the clock moves on a penalty. I'm gonna call a timeout no matter what. I have no idea. If I was gonna press A and he got all those yards back, I would've been so fucked. That would've sucked. Damn, I wanted the Woodson touchdown right there though. Would've been so clutch to pick that up instantly. I'm gonna move Jefferson out. Hopefully that moves his user just a little bit. Get rid of it. Second and goal, four seconds. I can always throw the ball away, get a penalty. I just have to throw this ball really fast if I'm gonna do this. Got him! Got him! Woodson! Charles Woodson! With no time left! It's 14 to 21, I get ball at half. God, we are fighting! Oh, I made some mistakes early, but you know what? He made some mistakes too. We just couldn't capitalize on him. So if we can capitalize now, oh, I'll be feeling good, baby. And now I get the ball at half. Have to score a touchdown. Have to score a touchdown here. Gotta do it. Dude, he put up 21 points on me in the first half. That's impressive. Although at one point, gentlemen, this game was 14 to zero. So let's let's hang on here. First and 10, we get a ball in to Woodson. Woodson wide receiver is legit, man. He's legit. I think Flash is open again. He is. He is wide open. Wait a minute. Good hard cut. Not fast enough. We're gonna get all the way down to the 37 though. I'm staying right in this, man. I am staying right in this. Okay, it's man. Megatron's in front of it though, so I can keep throwing that. Megatron keeps beating his man. This is a this is amazing action. I'm so glad we have Megatron right now. Megatron at five receptions, 74 yards. He could be our challenge wheel guy. For 10 receptions, 100 yards, and a touchdown. I just don't have a touchdown for him yet. Ooh, I'm ooh, wait a minute, Lamar. <laughs> Lamar, why do you have so much room? I tried to dive. I get to the one. Psychopath behavior. I'm running this ball in. Oh, he he clogs the middle. We do not get it. Second and goal. Holy shit, how did Lamar get so open? <laughs> I can't believe that. Oh, he ran commit again? Really? Wow. I'm surprised. Okay, well, we can see the blitzers over the middle, so I can throw to Jefferson here. Oh, no, he pulled that blitzer off. RB is wide open. Yup! Yes! Threat detector! Threat detector is so fucking good! Yes! I can see the blitzers. I knew exactly what he was doing. That left RB wide open, and that was Megatron who now has six receptions, 80 yards, and a touchdown, which is pretty amazing. And that thing was moving. Holy shit, that was moving fast. Do I need Do I need focus kicker for this? 21 to 21. How he has a full bar of momentum is beyond me. I have scored 21 points to his last seven, but whatever. I am not upset. We have played a beautiful ball game. A beautiful return. I started out horribly. Ooh, that's a very returnable kick. I do not like that. <laughs> this guy. This guy. Okay, he's coming back to the stretch. Let's get Eric Berry down and ready. He's gonna come to my side with it. And there's Erlacher. Big hit! Could be a pass. Play action. Oh yeah. He's gonna attack Palomalu. He sent that at Palomalu. No question to me that he did. Holy heave. Dude, how's he getting these? Good day! Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! That might be the sickest play I've ever made! I'm a tip and an acrobat dive! Oh my god! Against Carmichael! Oh, that was so sick! The SWAT into the dive! Ow! Yo, we take over on the 27! That was fucking insane! Oh, damn. Wow, what good defense. That, that leaves that safety free. Can't hardly run against it. Dude, that was insane! I gotta go score again. What the fuck? Why are there so many completely unaccounted for guys? Just getting shafted. I just lost seven yards on that. Who's on the flash? Who's on the flash? Wait, I threw the wrong guy. Flash was a touchdown. Holy shit, he was a touchdown. Fourth and six. This is one of the biggest plays of the game. Let's see if he leaves him again. What a catch! I get it anyway! Whichever said, let's go! Oh my god, I had, dude, I hit the wrong button and threw to Hawkinson when the flash was a tutty, a literal tutty. But honestly, if you really think about it, this might, maybe, might be better. Lamar, 
Lamar in no man's land is going to dive and get third in inches. So I didn't quite get it. My reasoning for thinking this maybe is better. Just maybe. Ooh, full blitz. That's everybody, huh? I can still get this on the left side. Third in inches. Dude, what the fuck? Yeah! You like that? Let's go! Great broken tackle. If I can shoot this clock, I can win off a field goal. Dude, what is this bullshit, though? How, what? How is he doing that? The untouched guy is crazy. This will be one of the best games ever. We can come home with this. Take the stretch. Cut it up. Go work flash. I'm surprised that he's holding his timeouts. Flash. Got him. Dive for the first. And it's pretty much ball game. It's not entirely. I got to go ball carrier conservative. Holy shit. Why are you not using your timeouts? Got daylight over here. Second and four, you're just gonna let me win it? I'm gonna call a timeout right now. I want this kick to be 45 plus. I can't actually get that, I don't think. Darn it, I wanted 45 yards. I am immune to ice the kicker, but I don't have Zen right now. I'm gonna do one more kneel to burn a second off this clock. Take me to fourth down and I'll kick it on fourth. Yep, call my timeout. 21 to 21. I wish this was over 45. That last PAT was actually really hard. I'm immune to ice the kicker. I did put that on Justin Tucker, but that last PAT was hard as fuck at like just regardless. Oh, that's so fast. Got it, got it, got it! Let's go! Oh my God, what a comeback! What a comeback! Down 14 to zero! And we absolutely clutch up and take the dub 24 to 21, what a game! Oh, that's one of the best. One of the best! Fuck yeah, boys. Hey, it's the grand finale, man. The heartbreak from the Super Bowl propelled me to this dub. Crazy enough, Lamar outplays Ken Stabler. He goes seven for 13. I went 17 for 22, two touchdowns and an interception. Rushing the flash was okay. He was bottling it up though. Dude, they're so stupid. He'd always have an unblocked guy. Just. TFL, TFL, TFL. Lamar scrambled really well, and we fell just short of our challenge. Megatron was six for 77 in a touchdown. It wasn't important enough for me, though. The important thing was winning that game. We did everything we had to do to win that game, so that's that's what matters. Wait, oh my God, wait a minute. My touchdown wasn't with Woodson. My touchdown was with Jefferson. Oh shit, dude, I totally thought Charles Woodson had that touchdown. Shit. So Charles Woodson is still not maxed out, but we still get his wide receiver. One hell of a game there, boys. One hell of a game there. We were winning in that game for zero seconds. Isn't that crazy to think about? For zero seconds of playtime, we were winning that game. The entire game, he was beating me. And then it was tied for a little bit, and with no time on the clock, I won. Gotta shoot him a GG's because that was one of the best games I played. GG's, my guy. GG's. That pushes us to four and one, and most importantly, it's a pack a punch if we win. And we did win the ball game. We were close to not winning it, but we did win. So Chris Jones gets his team of the year card now. Let's see if it's on the auction house. I'm hoping it is. Like clockwork, baby. Chris Jones, team of the year, D tackle. There is one on the auction house posted three minutes ago. Amazing. Chris Jones, I'm gonna give him under pressure for zero AP. And that's it. 98 D tackle, Chris Jones boosted to a 99. Dude, this team is so nasty. I cannot believe we walked out of there with a dub. When it was 14 to zero, I thought I was dead to rights, man. Like, I just thought I was going to straight up lose. But we pulled it together, and I'm so proud of us. So, sitting at a 96 overall team, we're 4-1, and one, so one more win takes us to the playoffs. I need a breather because my voice is getting shot. So, I'll see you guys in a bit, but you won't see anything different. All right, boys, I'm back. Voice is recovered. Going into game six, we are 4-1, and one, coming off our closest dub. Yeah, that was a sketchy dub. Let's get after it. All right, boys, our first wheel spin out the gates here i wouldn't mind a backup d tackle because we have a silver in right now or new guards it's a series of redux jackpot so i'm definitely gonna get a choice i think redux goes up to 97 right now i don't think it goes any higher than that definitely goes to 97 does it go to 98 it does not okay so the best series reduxes 
our 97. But I saw, I saw a 97 Vita Vea. That would be a really good option. Let's see what they got in the guards department. There is, there's Russ Grimm, 97 left guard. And there's Bruce Matthews, 96 left guard. Well, right guard. There's Austin Corbett. You know, Zach Martin is really good, but I kind of don't like Kenyon Green. I don't know a damn thing about Russ Grimm. I know he's got a beautiful mustache, though, and I got to respect that. Russ Grimm with some damn good stats. I'm going to pick up 97 overall series redux, Russ Grimm. Upgrade left guard. And I definitely got to get a D-tackle upgrade as well. So hopefully our next spin can do that. Once again, I'm looking for a D-tackle. I have a silver D-tackle as my secondary D-tackle. That's not what we're going for. Our spin... Oh my God. Well... <laughs> We've been looking for D-tackles in these packs all day. So let's see what five Pro Elite packs can do for us. Five Pro Elite packs. We can keep literally everything in these. So if I pull the limited, we'd take it. This is really nice at the start of a season, but it's very circumstantial right now. We pretty much got to get a D-tackle or this isn't going to help us. <laughs> we get 96. Wait a minute. That actually is pretty good right now because right now I don't have Charles Woodson in. Chris Carter is a 97 speed 6'3 corner. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm using that. I bet you he gets crazy abilities too. Yeah, of course he does. This is so ridiculous. Why is Chris Carter so good? <laughs> Pick artist for free. I could get Acrobat for one. And holy shit. This is such an insane corner. That's actually a crazy good pull. I'll take that. All right. Pro League Pack 1 with some heat. Pro League Pack 2 has Devin Hester wide receiver. Honestly, I'm just looking for an 85 overall or better D tackle. Let's keep it simple, right? Jeremy Shockey, Willie Anderson. Oh, oh, oh my God. No way. There's no way I just did that. Oh my God. Oh my God. This I almost bought him. I was looking at this Vita Vea when, on our last wheel spin with Sirius. What the fuck? Oh my God. Dude, this grand finale is so sick. This grand finale is so sick. Vita Vea. 97 overall with amazing stats. And he's going to get an awesome discounted ability too. I'll probably move him to my starter actually. I'll just give him no outsiders. How the fuck did we just do that? What is going on? What is going on? I have Chris Jones and Vita Vea in now. Not to mention I added Chris Carter corner. I might even want to keep Charles Woodson as the wide receiver. His wide receiver card is kind of nasty, man. Got Ocho Cinco. Got Nick Mangold, Cameron Dicker. Can't use any of those. I cannot believe we just got fucking Vita Vea. Our fifth and final pro elite back. T Higgins. Mike Allstott, Kayvon Thibodeau. Before the third wheel spin, I want to see what my lineup looks like. So Russ Grimm, what abilities do you get? Post up for free? Oh my God, you cannot ask for anything better than that. Could go Nasty Streak for one. All right, Russ Grimm with Nasty Streak and post up. My O-line is getting a lot better. Let's just get one stud in for Zach Martin and I'm done. And in goes Vita Vea that pushes our team to a 97 overall. That's so dope. We got one more wheel spin. Our third and final wheel spin before game six. If we win this game, we're already in the playoffs, which is so amazing. So let's see if we can do that. Ooh. Oh, I don't even know if I'll be able to get anybody from this, but let's go find out. The wheel of weights. I can take any single player from this weight class. Now, the way this works is I get that weight class and up to the next, if that makes sense. So... 245. 245 is fucking incredible. Ooh, this is so good. 245 pounds up to 255 pounds. So anywhere in that bracket, I can take any player. And I feel like that size is pretty much linebackers. So maybe I get an MLB 2 for Jack Sanborn. Because honestly, like, where else would I go? Also, can't forget, I got to get in Chris Carter corner. Sorry, Damar Hamlin. That takes me to a 98 overall. Holy shit. Dude, I would love to get in a strong safety, but I don't think there's any strong safeties who weigh 245 pounds. Oh my God. There is a strong safety. Six foot seven Pete Metzelars is 254 pounds, but he's only 95 overall. I don't think he's worth it. Now, funny enough, Ray Lewis, 97 overall Super Bowl. One of my favorite cards is 250 pounds. So I could go Ray Lewis, but I'm not going to because I have used that Ray Lewis so much. I want to try somebody new and guess who is also 250 pounds. 98 overall limited 
Tremaine Edmonds. 6'5", 250, 95 speed, 98 block shed, 99 hit power, and 95 change of direction. He actually could be a better user than Erlacher because of that change of direction stat. But I'm not messing with Erlacher. Erlacher has actually been playing so good. I got so mad at him one time, but he instantly redeemed himself with an interception. So I'm going to run 98 limited Tremaine Edmonds at MLB 2, and hopefully he gets a solid discounted ability, but I guess we'll see. I'm going to be honest with you. This team's a fucking god squad. We're 98 overall already, but I really do want to get rid of Lamar. 5 AP is crazy. When Herbert or Mahomes for the same abilities is like 2. We could stack up my O-line. We could stack up a lot of other players with abilities if we don't have Lamar in there. It's really stupid that that's how it is, but like I said, that's just how it is. I can't control EA, man. I wish I could. Tremaine Edmonds, free lurker. Chris Carter, free pick artist. And I have 3, 6, 9, 12, 13 players on defense with abilities. That's insane. So Lamar Jackson, run and gun. Cordero Patterson, the flash with Phenom. And TJ Hawkinson with double me on defense. We got Eric Berry, Trey Palomalu, and Sauce Gardner all with shutdown. And if those pro elite packs taught me anything, it's that these packs are kind of clutch. So here's the challenge wheel. If we complete it, oh my God. Oh, wait, no, I did. This isn't a curse anymore. I completed this this year. Yes. I know it says hit a crossbar, but you can also hit the uprights. I just have to hit the field goal post to complete this challenge. That's it. Technically, I could throw a pass that hits it, but I've... I don't know if I've ever in my life done that. I don't even know if it's possible. Regardless, boys, that's not important. What's important is getting this fat W. And if I can hit the crossbar as well, well, that's just icing on the cake. This game will propel us to the playoffs if we can win. He's got Rashawn Evans, Jamar Chase, and Gold 99 Ken Stabler. But we got Gold 99 Brian Urlacher, Tremaine, and Lamar. Damn, Tremaine is on the top three now? Okay. I don't know how Tremaine snuck his way on there because I've got gold 99 Lawrence Taylor. But hey, whatever, we'll take it. Starting with the kickoff, we are at home in the Lions alternate unis. I love these unis. We'll come out in even 6-1. This has Mad Max, Vita Vea, Chris Jones, Kevin Carter, and my monster edge threats on it. And there's, ooh, Erlacher taken out by Gus the Bus. Yo, this guy's got the Flash and Gus the Bus? Oh my god, he's got that that tandem duo, man. I'm accidentally on Chris Jones. I gotta go low. Fuck. Yes, he stepped out. Thank God. God, he's a menace, dude. He is a menace. All right, I'm not gonna blitz this time. He's smelling my blitzes. Could go half back again. Great tackle from Lawrence Taylor, second and five. I don't think he'll continue to do that. I think he's gonna get impatient. Yep. Yep. Ooh, nice throw, nice throw. Let's see if he throws short again. I gotta be ready for the short throw. Ooh, it's a run. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that, but Kevin Carter stood his man up. Great work, Kevin Carter. Third and four. Stabler coming out. Ooh, a weird, weird throw, which he somehow actually got a first down on. Damn, that was a big mistake by me. If I made that first tackle, I would have just bottled that up. This might be another run play. Ooh, a counter. Palomalu! Hey, way to meet him. Second and seven. Lots of run plays. Gus is hammering me right now. All right, I think he's gonna pass. I think he's gonna pass short, so we're gonna cover Gus. Yup. Great coverage! Horrible pass! What are you doing? Oh, you had such a good drive. Did he get lost in the end zone? Could he not see my player? I don't know. But we're going to go with a stretch to the flash to get us out of no man's land. Second and five. Great start. Ooh, I'll just take B. Yes, sir. Go Jefferson. Oh, my God. I told. <laughs> Sketchy dive. But, hey, it takes us to the end of the first. Zero to zero. Lions versus Falcons. This is a big game right here. He leaves Hawk right down the middle. Ooh, bad hard cut. I'm interested to see how this clock winds up. He took four minutes and then turned the ball over. Oh, bad ball. Holy shit, what am I doing? Kelsey? That was a horrible pass. I don't know why I threw that. I'm honestly not too worried. That was really stupid. I saw A wasn't open, so I instantly threw RB, but I should just throw the ball away. Well, he threw a stupid INT, so did I. I'm not too worried yet, though. I get the ball half. Gonna go play action here. I'm gonna rifle Hawkinson. We're gonna go pick up. Are you fucking kidding me? No, you're fucking kidding me. <laughs> okay, okay, the first one's on me. 
That shit's on EA. What? Oh my god. What a fucking joke that was. What a perfect ball to a wide open man. Take it over on the 17. Well, you know what? I came back from last game down 14-0, so I'll just do it again. So this is the throw I threw last time that I somehow got pick six on. I got pick six on that. Can you believe that? Main coverage this time. Jefferson beats his man. I need to score quickly. I'm calling a timeout. I want to salvage that two-minute warning. I actually think I can, too. Right now, the clock is my enemy because I know I can beat this guy. I just don't know if I'll have the time to. I'm going to look for Patterson here. I think Patterson's my guy on this one. Oh, what a route. The flash got it, and he's out of bounds. Ooh, it's a two-minute warning anyway. It didn't matter. Damn it. I was hoping to score before the two-minute, but this is a really good starter drive right now. Might be able to just roll out right with Lamar. Hello there. Holy shit. Are you just not going to block him? Are you kidding me? You, you have a fucking assignment to block that guy. Block him. Okay, it's man. Lamar unable to turn the corner. It's third and goal. That's man coverage. Vernon Davis is actually open this time. I'm out of bounds again at the 11. I guess I will take a field goal. I'm going to need the points. I am definitely going to need the points in a horse shit game like this. He's going to come out here and run with Gus the bus eight times. He's going to milk so much clock. It's going to be hard to win. He's going to open this up with a pass. Throws it away. That's a good start. Oh, shit. Over the middle. Ooh. Micah almost. Oh, I would have loved to pick six of my own, boys. He throws that again, but this time it's fourth and three. Wow. Really? Okay. <sighs> nice find. I don't know how we didn't get to him. I set six. He throws that again, <laughs> which I don't know how he is getting that to go through. Let's see what he does here. Might throw underneath the Gus. Mine! Oh! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Once again, I'm right there. Once again, I'm right there. I don't know how I don't get that. Oh, they break every tackle. They, they, it's, what is this? They're just gods. I don't get it. Let's see if we can get them to make another huge mistake. Nice stuff. Nice stuff, boys. Second and goal. Mine. Let's go, Erla. Ooh, should have stayed in the end zone there. We're not fucked yet. I've stopped him in the red zone twice. He has 14 points off of pick fucking sixes. So he hasn't scored. He literally has not scored on offense. I get ball here. I have to score a touchdown. I score a touchdown here. This is still a game. 14 to three. Another day, another comeback. It's all in the script. Don't worry. It's all in the script. The script says I'm going to score on this drive. It'll be 10 to 14. And then he's going to be a little nervous. All right, I'm coming out here slinging. I'm not playing. I'm not running the fucking ball. I am slinging for so many yards. He won't, know, he won't know what the fuck to do. Or he'll run man coverage and it'll be so strong that not a single fucking player on my offense is open. Or that'll happen. That's okay. It honestly doesn't even matter. I'm going to get him. I think that's open. Oh, just barely. Jefferson comes down with it. That wasn't easy, but he got him. Oh, he almost got there, man. He almost got there with Micah. That could have been real bad. I can't tell if this is man. I can't tell what this is. Oh, why is there, though? That's a sketchy one. Woo! We're throwing hot, hot passes right now. First and 10. Nothing stupid. Nothing stupid. I think a Hawkinson post is open. Oh, it was. Fuck, man. He's got me boxed. Fourth and ten? I'm gonna go for this. No! God, please, no! No! Actually, no. I'm not going to. I have to stop my defense anyway. Wait a minute. Fake field goal rollout pass. Fuck this fraud. Let's do it. We are screwed. Oh, he's so ready for it. Oh, fuck. Damn. All right, well, now we gotta turn him over. Now we gotta definitely turn him over. He's just gonna come out and run Gus the bus until this game's over. Oh, yeah. Dude, this game has just been a fucking atrocious. But luckily, we can afford one loss. Play action sacked! Fourth and 11. He's got to punt this, right? I mean, he does not have to by any means, but he will. All right. There's a stop, boys. There's a stop. Hell of a punt. Megatron is my return man. I honestly didn't know that. Breaks one. 
Thought about it. Thought about reversing field. Damn, I don't know why I can't get in the end zone. I should probably be running the ball when I get down closer. That's what I'm going to try next. I'm going to run the ball when I get closer. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay. Oh, go give him another one, man. Oh my god, you're gonna actually give him another one. He hasn't scored on offense. Yep, I've had enough. No, 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 no. I have had enough. Uh-uh, I'm done. I'm not playing this anymore. I'm gonna take my loss. I'm just getting out of this game. Holy shit. Yeah, I mean, whatever. Whatever. Y you haven't scored an offensive touchdown. You have punted and turned the ball over twice. You have 22 points. Oh, I've never seen something like this. I've never seen something like this. No, thank you. Get me the fuck out of here. Oh, thank God this isn't the playoffs. That was so fucked up. That whole game was so fucked. I do not care that I'm losing my players. I don't care that I didn't go for the challenge wheel. I'm not playing a second more of that. Oh my God, that was horrible i've never seen that bobble thing that bobble thing that he picked six on in my second pass i should have known right then and there that game was over 22 points he never scored on offense i made one bad pass i made one bad pass that pick six i deserved so seven of those count them up count them all right boys i'm just glad that we're out of that game we lose our d tackle we lose our mlb2 and we lose our left guard but i'm now four and two so i have to win the next game in order to advance all right, boys, time to just reset, forget about that game, and take us to the playoffs. It's the grand finale. I have no choice but to go to the playoffs here. So let's get it! We get a Mission Mutt jackpot. Okay, any Mission Mutt player in the game. Hmm, I wonder if I want to go get a left guard again. So there's 98 overall Tua, who I'm not going to go. I don't like lefty QBs. There's 98 Jimmy Smith. There's 98 Jeremy Chin. Ooh, I think we have just been granted an opportunity to replace Palomalu. Holy shit. Jeremy Chin is 98 speed and he's 6'3". I'm doing this. Oh my God. All right, so just to compare, I know Palomalu is our prestige, and I feel bad. Plus four speed, plus five inches of height. Little less acceleration, more tackle, more play rec, same pursuit, more man and zone coverage. This is a no-brainer for me. We're taking Jeremy Chin here. So let me throw Jeremy Chin in here. 98 overall Jeremy Chin. Replaces Palomalu. I will put Palomalu as the backup though. Acrobat for zero. Whoa. And then Crusher for one. That works great for me. In fact, Jeremy Chin would actually be a spectacular user. At six foot three with 97 change of direction, I almost could put him at my user instead of Erlacher. But Erlacher has been really good. I'm not fucking with Erlacher, man. I'm going to stick with Erlacher. I know it sounds weird, but I'm going to stick with Erlacher. Jeremy Chin will just play high, Crusher, Acrobat, and he'll just go crazy all on his own. A great, great start right there. It's not like me to rage quit out of the game, boys, but that was so frustrating. And I am human. I couldn't fucking stand that. One pack, pack a punch. Okay, I'll take that. So I get to open one pack and I can pack a punch any player in that pack. A pack a punch is taking the best available version of that player. I'm gonna do the pro elite again, man. The pro elite has just been stupid. Now, yes, I could do ultimate legend, but I think that's so lame. I think that defeats the purpose of the wheel spin. And you're supposed to actually get lucky. Get Al Woods. Does Al Woods have a good card? I feel like he might actually. And I do need a D tackle. Al Woods has a 97 overall gridiron guardians volume two D tackle. That's an amazing start. LaMarcus Joyner, Davis Mills, Greg Rousseau has, whoa, both of them. Both of them have really good cards. And Jeremy Shockey does have a solid card too. Jeremy Shockey got an ultimate legend tight end. I do want to upgrade Hawkinson, man. I don't think Shockey's the guy though. I don't think Shockey's the guy to upgrade Hawkinson with. I do think Al Woods is our best bet here. We're going to take the 97 Al Woods and he'll basically be our replacement for Vita Vea, who we just lost for losing that game. And there he is, 97 overall D-tackle, Al Woods. Pack a punch coming in big clutch right there. That's fire. 80 speed, 98 tackle, 97 block shed, 97 power moves. All right, just don't use your finesse moves and we are good. Inside stuff for free, that's amazing. And the third and final wheel spin, you know, I almost want to go tight end. Like, I almost want to get a crazy tight end rather than upgrade O-line. It's, well, I... I don't know if I'm going to get a choice, but we'll see. It's a team wheel jackpot. So any single player in the game, but they must be a 49er, Falcon, Kyle Pitts, Kyle Pitts, Kyle Pitts. 
Kyle Pitts. We accidentally just built a nasty Falcons offense because I'm taking the unicorn. Kyle Pitts, AKA. 96 speed, six foot six. He's a massive upgrade on Hawkinson and it's not even close. And you know who just fumbled that ball in that last game? Backup Vernon Davis. So now the backup is Hawkinson and the starter is Kyle Pitts, which I think I do like better. I'll just go deep out elite. Honestly, yeah, that's it. I'm totally fine with that. I didn't realize I had freed up AP. Oh yeah, because Russ Grimm is not on my team anymore. I'm gonna try it. Double me unicorn wins aggressive catches versus single coverage. Starts the game on. I might actually use this. All right. So the offensive line got a little worse. We lost Russ Grimm, but for this upcoming game, I added the unicorn. So hopefully that'll make a big difference. A brand new strong safety in Jeremy Chin. And of course, we have the brand new D-Tackle 97 overall, Al Woods. All right, boys. Last game was a brutal, brutal, embarrassing loss. But listen, man, this is Wheel of Mutt. And Wheel of Mutt is a roller coaster. You'll go up and you'll go down. But hopefully by the end, you've got yourself a Super Bowl ring. We are four and two. Win or go home in the grand finale. The script writers could not have written it any better. My challenge is that my best player cannot lead my team in yards. Now, best player is subjective, but in this case, best player is gonna be my highest overall player or the player that I generally use the most. I feel like I'd probably throw to Flash or Jefferson the most. I'm gonna say Flash is my best player. So at the end of the game, we're gonna add up all of Flash's yards, rushing and receiving, and somebody else had to beat him. But hey, our new top three, He's got Megatron on it this time. His is, he's got Tebow. He's got Tebow. All right, boys, taking on Tebow today. This will be a fun one. Hopefully, we got to win it. Gun Empty Saint. I recognize this. I'm going to guest pass here, and I'm just going to guard Antonio Gates. Oh, he's got me, but we got him. Oh, Lawrence Taylor. I almost did that nasty, super cheesy pick six right there. Oh, no. It's the deep, the deep seam beater. Ooh, Tebow overthrows? Wait a minute. He's got long range dead eye. How did he just overthrow? Hey, I don't know, but guess what? He's gonna try that same thing. So we gotta bring the heat. No, nobody got home. Uh-oh, we're fucked. He just threw the wrong guy. Oh, you lucky motherfucker. He had a wide open man literally down the middle. Oh no, heater. Woo! Micah gets home, third and five. He's in five wide. So I gotta keep sending the heat. All right, third and five. We're just gonna play base. The dig, got him! Eric Berry always lurking in the back of the red zone. How many interceptions will Eric Berry have back there? Great play, Eric Berry. Okay, this same exact thing happened last game. And I ended up throwing an interception on a really stupid pass. We're not gonna make that same mistake. We're gonna play this smart. I'm gonna get rid of the ball if it's not there. Easy throw. Beautiful. Oh, let's try a run play. We're going over to Charles Woodson's side. Let's see how his run blocking is. Looks like it's good. The unicorn. Oh no, I outran my block. Fuck. Flash is too good. It's too fast. No way, no way, no way. Yeah! <laughs> Honestly, not how I imagined. Holy shit. Not how I imagined making the playoffs, but I will take it. Yes! Unfortunately, my only offensive yards were from the Flash. And the Flash, I determined, was my best player. So I definitely did not complete my challenge wheel. But I did get a rage quit. And if you guys recall, a rage quit earns us an upgrade for a power-up player. We were not given the opportunity to get Charles Woodson an upgrade. So we finally have earned the gold 99. Charles Woodson. I'm so excited to use it. I'll probably actually put Woodson at my slot corner. I think he's going to wreak havoc like that. Gentlemen, thanks to the quickest rage quit heading into the playoffs, we get gold 99 Charles Woodson. 99 speed, six foot one. Stupid good stats. There is also now a vacancy at my wide receiver three. So we're going to have to pick that up going here into the wildcard playoffs. Our work is not done yet though. I have to play the gold 99 Charles Woodson solo to get his discounted ability bucket. <sighs> Please fire whoever fucking came up with this stupid discounted ability shit. Regardless, let me go get that done. And there we go, shiny token for Charles Woodson. I'm just gonna run Acrobat and Deep Out Zone KO for one total AP, which is ridiculously you can get that for that cheap that's so fucked up 
Ooh, you get film study for one? I'm gonna mess with my abilities. I'm running film study for one on him. I'll give him shutdown. It says two AP on Woodson. And I'll just, I'll mess around with this. We'll make this work. Honestly, I think Crusher is kind of pointless on Lawrence Taylor. He's pretty much sacking the QB. I'll take one AP off him. And I think that frees up enough space. Ooh, I actually have one AP still available. I'm also gonna give Erlacher mid zone KO. Not too sure how much I need it, but I'm gonna try it out since I've got the free AP. Damn. Defense looking monstrous now. I'm gonna take shutdown off of Sauce and put it on Charles Woodson and then keep it on both my safeties. I really like having it on my safeties. Dude, someone call Andrew Tate though. I am a brokey. I'll figure it out. All right, boys, come take a look. Head to head. Survive the playoffs in the grand finale. I still got three wheel spins. I got a challenge wheel. Let's hop in. The very first spin before we go into the playoffs. I can't tell you boys how nervous I am. I'm gonna be honest, but listen, I can't lose this time, man. I can't lose all eggs. Choose one, let's go. I still have eight eggs on my bench. Seven of those are large eggs and one is an extravagant. I get to open all of these and I can choose one player to add to my team. Start with the large team of the week, Lance Briggs. I doubt it. Best case scenario I'd say is a right or left guard who's higher than a 93. 95 mil linebacker Derek Johnson is an upgrade. So that's a start. An upgrade to my MLB too. Okay, a Super Bowl player on our next one is 94. Andrew Wiley not gonna help us. Next one, another Super Bowl player. This one is the same guy. Okay, still not gonna help us. Our next large egg is a Legends player. I kind of figured that couldn't help us. Randall Cunningham. Also a Legends player, likely can't help us. Halfback Earl Campbell. Next large egg, a Gridiron Guardian. It's Kenny Pickett, not gonna help us. Okay, now it's up to our extravagant egg to clutch us up right here. This one is... Lol. It's Mark Ingram all over again. Oh, I already have. You're literally my quarterback on my team. All we're going to end up doing here is placing Derek Johnson as our backup middle linebacker. It's a little weird. I'm not going to lie, but we will do with what we got. All right. First wheels being didn't help us too much. I'm not too concerned, though. The best case scenario, we can pick ourselves up a guard with this next wheel spin. Easter night, there has to be a guard in this, right? Actually, now that I say it, I think there is a Chris Lindstrom. I wish there was a 98 left guard, but there's not. That's okay. We can definitely replace Zach Martin right now. Big Chris Lindstrom, 478,000 coins. Also, a throwback to last season. He was my right guard last season. With amazing stats, 92 speed is ridiculous. Hopefully, he can track down some potential accidental pick sixes, maybe. I don't know. Polar Elite, secure, and post up. Identify for one. Nasty Street for zero. Now, now you're talking, buddy. Chris Lindstrom promoted to starter, baby. Let's get it. Our third and final wheel spin before the wild card, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what we can find ourselves with. PVPs until 90 plus. We started the grand finale with this, and now Poetic Justice, we start the playoffs with it. I'll take it. It might actually be perfect. I need a little more coins on this account. So if it takes us a while to find a 90 plus, I'll get some coins along the way. As I record this, there are limiteds available in store for gold 99 weekly wild cards. I think there's a Robert Quinn and a Razul Douglas. They're kind of random if, if you ask me, but they could be a good upgrade if I can find myself a limited most likely I'll get a series redux before that, but it's the grand finale, man. Anything could happen. See, that's exactly what I need. 88 Ramsey for 200K, but we keep going until we get a 90 overall or better. That's a strategy item. We're good. Series redux. Damn, that sucks. Although, like I said, we got so lucky with Frank Clark that one time that I really didn't think lightning was going to strike twice, but we get Dante Foreman. Doesn't really help the squad, but that's okay. Of course, we still have a challenge wheel. It has been good to us. There have been times I've whiffed on it, but it's been very good to us on the grand finale. Wow, a challenge I haven't gotten, I don't think, all year. Must score from the one yard line. John Gotti, our top three, Lamar, Erlacher, and Megatron, the old and the new. He's got Lamar, Megatron himself. This time, Jimmy Smith, oh my God, I forgot. I don't have a third wide receiver. Holy shit, I forgot I put Woodson in that corner. I took Charles Woodson wide receiver out. My third wide receiver right now is 88 overall Vernon Davis. Let's try and run this football. Holy shit, what are you in? We actually got the field art. I love when we get the field art. I'm gonna get around JPP. I'm gonna spin to the outside and Flash is moving the rock. Hell of a spin, boys. Oh, 
unicorn just killed What? Why? Why? Why the fuck was that such a shit ball? You had him. Is this like a partial Raven? Yeah, it is. It's a Ravens theme team. Gus the bus goes down. Wow, that is so unlucky. He continues to run the rock, but I think we stuffed this one. Oh, yeah, we did. I'm guessing pass here. Oh, yeah! I knew it! Our locker! Go, buddy! Go, buddy! Let's go! I knew it. The second he had to throw that ball, he was going to make a mistake. I'm not throwing the ball. Fuck that. Lamar, you're taking on a Ravens theme team. We got to get it together here, buddy. All right, first and 10. We're going stretch left, right up the gut. I said stretch left, and then I said right up the gut. Those two sentences do not go together. He's on Matabuike, which means he's not usering down the middle. Which means the unicorn will redeem himself! Oh, yeah! Almost a cataclysmic fall apart in the playoffs, but Erlacher gets the ball right back, and Unicorn redeems himself. Let's see if he goes to another run play. He doesn't. He's gonna go Gus out the backfield. Oh, he doesn't have time! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, not Mark Andrews. Oh, no. Woodson, wait, you just got torched, Woodson! The breakup! Dude, this cover four has been getting me in trouble recently. Yup, yup, Lawrence Taylor! Fourth and 18, Lamar on his squad is 0 for 3 with an interception, and he's punting out of the back of his own end zone. Let's get it. Let's see just how lethal this run game can be. I'm going right side with it. Flash evades the first one, gets dogpiled on the next. Oh, Lamar, no way! Dude, it's so awesome that he's a Ravens theme team and my Lamar is going off right now. Oh, mid blitz? You can run inside zone right at mid blitz. Yup. Shit, we gotta hold that. Munoz, we can go for so many yards if you hold that. All right, I'm not trying to get risky here. He is supposedly blitzing. I'm taking the field goal. This is a run in the past. I think it was the counter, actually. Oh, it's just a dive? Oh, work. Dude, that upgraded D-line is going crazy, man. Let's go get him. He might throw Gus. Peter! Let's go, boys! I think he throws a bad pass here. I'm gonna fake the blitz. Yup, no blitz. Money! Let's go! Erlacher! How's it? Oh, he misses! Erlacher's on his feet! And we're down to the six with 40 seconds left. And he's gone. You know he's gone. Let's go. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Did I forget to spin the rage quit wheel? I forgot to spin the rage quit wheel on that rage quit wheel from before. I don't actually remember. I think I forgot to spin it. Well, listen, I did forget to spin the rage quit wheel before, but I'm going to redeem myself right now by spinning the rage quit wheel for that massive W right there. Let's see what we can add to the squad right here, baby. Set the 16 gold plus. There's always a chance you pull a limited somehow, some way. 1570 plus and 183 plus. Our first one is the 83 plus. It's a legend. It's Atwater. Whole lot of nothing. That's okay. Massive W, boys. We hang out to all our players, obviously, and we advance to the NFC Championship. Now, an important thing that we need to do right now is we need to get a wide receiver. Luckily, it didn't matter in that game because we played so well, but bro, I've got Vernon Davis as wide receiver three going into the playoffs. So let's get a wide receiver right now. All right, boys, this first wheel spin is dedicated to a wide receiver. After that, I take a left guard, and after that, I guess we'll see. It's a Game Changers jackpot, so any Game Changers player. Oh, there's a left guard, Batonio, and he's, like, super good. I used Batonio last season, so I'm not going to use him again. Oh, my God, the perfect player. Amira St. Brown did one of my favorite players in the league. In fact, I got to meet him at an NFL event this year. Such a good dude. And he plays for the Lions. Are you kidding me? Six foot, 98 speed, 197, great route runs. He might not be the most meta wide receiver because he's not six foot six, but I'm rocking Amon. Or St. Brown from the Game Changers program. That's huge. Let's go. I now just wonder what abilities he gets. All right, boys. I said my first spin was dedicated to a wide receiver. We got it. Now, can we make the same thing happen at left guard? Five separate packs, coins, or training. Have to get super lucky, but it is possible. You know what's funny about this, actually? Kenyon Green, who's my 93 left guard, has a 97 overall NFL draft card. So I'm going to see if I can pull him. So we need five separate packs so we can't reopen the same pack. I'll start out with training variety, see if I can Hail Mary a limited. I mean, why not, right? It's the NFC Championship. Did get 88 Derrick Henry, though, for 200K, so I'll take that. I'll take one NFL draft pack and potentially get Kenyon Green here. Come on, baby! 
that. Dude, fuck Mark Ingram. Mark Ingram haunts my packs. Are you serious? I actually got him again. That is crazy. All right, now I can do the training pack. This is my third pack. Literally just looking for Kenyon Green. If it's possible, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Phil Haynes. Next, I'll do weekly wild cards because these are the limited. Start out with a heavyweight. Could be a left guard. Technically. Mike McGlinchey, right tackle. Nick Boyle and Dietrich Wise. And our fifth and final, I'll go a 91 plus mission must. Seeing if we can potentially get the left slash right guard that's in this promo. I'm trying to remember who it is, but we don't get it anyway. Nothing usable there, unfortunately. Honestly, second wheel spin did not clutch up, but does it matter? Because the third wheel spin is going to get me left guard. It's going to get me left guard. Like I said, like I said, like I said, does Combine have guards? Combine actually has an awesome card for me. So Natane Moody has a 95 left guard from the Combine promo, and he gets post up and a nasty streak for zero AP, but I have to choose one of them. Normally, I think I like nasty streak, but he has 61 speed, so he's not really going to be getting downfield. So I'm going to give him post up. Natane Moody is in and pushes our team to a 98 overall once again, and I can activate post up for free on offense. So I think I need a game changers token to get his custom ability bucket. I have a feeling I don't have that. Oh my god, I do. That's news to me, but I will take it. He gets a ton of dirt cheap ability, short out or deep out. Let me give him deep out elite, kind of my standard on everybody. Oh, he gets deep out elite for free anyway. Wait, holy shit. So then I'll go short out elite. A literal 98 overall theme. Let's go, boys. <laughs> Gentlemen, you really can't ask for much more than this. A Wheel of Mud grand finale, an NFC championship. Let's be grateful. And our spin on the challenge wheel, of course. Gosh, we have never gotten this one. I feel like I feel like I'm seeing all these new spins all of a sudden. 50 rush, 50 receiving, and one touchdown to one player. Obviously, this has to be my halfback. So we'll have to get the flash, 50 in the air, and 50 on the ground, as well as a touchdown. He's got Keyshawn Johnson, Tredavious. What is that a Jets theme team? I think it is. Oh my god, boys. We are taking on a New York Jets theme team in the NFC Championship. On the field, it says divisional. Gotta be my biggest pet peeve. I really wish they would bring back the NFC and AFC championship logos. Man, I want that immersion. First and 10. Let's see how he starts out the ball game. He's got Flacco at QB. Oh, he starts out getting sacked. Second and 18 play action again. Oh, he throws at my face. Blocks. Oh, I'm behind him, but he took too long. Fourth and 14. Lawrence Taylor gets home again. Film study shows me what he's running. He's switching it up. He's looking for some corner routes. Let's see if we just get home again. Oh, nice window. Nice find on fourth and 14. Base coverage. Oh my God. Did he free form? Eric Berry again. Eric Berry has about five interceptions on this run. Did he free form that? Oh, that's brutal. All right, I'm going to send this stretch left side. I'm going to get some amazing blocks. Flash is sort of open. The good thing is he always breaks tackles. Good news here, I think Hawkinson gets open here. Oh my God, he's naked. Nobody over there. Oh, unicorn, great. No way, no way. Oh, that's the same fucking thing that happened to him. Perfect accuracy, perfect accuracy. How? How, if it's perfect accuracy, can I not catch the fucking ball? Because it's out of reach. Honestly, though, like I said, I suppose it's the only reason. I have the ball. I like it. Not today. Let's go. God damn it, it's a roller coaster. Welcome to Cedar Point, boys. 7-0, Erlacher. First and 10 PA boot over or some variation. Ooh, holy flacco. Football! I've got it! Kevin Carter! <laughs> no way we get a quit in the NFC Championship. No! No! Uh, do you think he knows this is Wheel of Mutt? Or do you think he's just asking me, like, to be polite? <laughs> Wait! Oh my god, this is the guy from last game! He said, Erlacher, don't be picking shit. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, that's so funny. Erlacher is a savage, bro. Ooh, okay. This stretch looking good. This could be a very easy win if I play this really well. I'm just gonna go inside zone to flash. I'm gonna let this go to one. Potentially could get this all the way to the two-minute warning. Depending on ooh, 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 look at the blocks, man. Gonna go right side with the flash here. He's gonna dive. Whoa. Flash is just fighting, man. I'm gonna take this right side. See if I can make a play on the user. Oh my god, I might not need it. 
I don't need it at all. I said it was up to him if he wants to finish it out. I, I really, I do wonder if he knows this is Wheel of Mutt. He wouldn't though. Nobody would know this is Wheel of Mutt because I'm recording this all in one session. Nobody knows what this team looks like. First and 10. I think he's back in boot over. I just got to keep going on the QB if he's going to go boot over because I can't let him set this play up. This play is so lethal that if he gets to set it up, he'll bomb on me. But now you, your heat can get there. Like I can get to him fat. Oh, oh, is this shot seams? Is he going to take me down a seam? I think he's trying to. What the fuck? How did that even happen? I have no idea how that happened. So the pick six, that was a great play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to rationalize for him. The fumble's a little unlucky. That throw's a little unlucky. I don't know. It's a questionable throw. <laughs> so the two playoff games are a little weird here, man. Is the Super Bowl going to be incredibly hard now? Or am I... Are we going to do that again in the Super Bowl? I don't like this. Gentlemen, everything we have done in this massive 12-hour sitting leads to this game right here, the Super Bowl. Over the course of this season, we've assembled some amazing players. Anthony Munoz, Natane Moody, our prestige Jason Kelsey, Chris Lindstrom, Lane Johnson, Kyle Pitts, the unicorn, TJ Hawkinson, our prestige, Justin Jefferson, Christian Okoye, Lamar Jackson, The Flash, Amon Ross St. Brown, Megatron, and on defense, we've got prestige Eric Berry, Micah Parsons, who's been with us since literally day one. Brian Erlacher, a menace user, even if nobody wants to admit it. Derek Johnson, gold 99, Lawrence Taylor, averaging like two and a half sacks a game. Jeremy Chin, Mission Mutt, Troy Palamalu, the forgotten prestige. Gold 99, Charles Woodson, the power up player. Kevin Carter with a clutch fumble recovery. Al Woods, Chris Jones, who he earned with a win. Mad Max Crosby, PS2, Sauce Gardner. And let's not forget all Madden Justin Tucker and the Scottish Hammer rounding out the special teams. Boys, this will be the last time I see you in Wheel of Mutt until Madden 24. No surprise videos, no surprise grand finales. This is the last three wheel spins you're gonna see. So let's make them count. Without further ado, let me give you the first wheel spin of the Super Bowl. It's a top 10, 96, 97. We've got a chance to upgrade MLB 2, a chance to upgrade left guard or left tackle, and a chance to upgrade our kicker. Let's see if we can do any of those right now. So I'm going to click 96, 97. I'm sorted by time remaining. We can choose out of the 12 players we see. It's between Connor McGovern, Sandcastle, Gillylock. Hey, left guard. Volson's a left guard. I think I could use anything else. Volson, do you get good abilities? Ooh, so Volson gets post up for zero AP, and he's a little little bit better than Moody. So it's a minor left guard upgrade, but we will take it. 195,000 coins, Cordell Volson. Is that how you say that? Actually, a lot better than Moody. Damn, it's a big boy. I'm actually going to give him Nasty Streak. It's zero AP. Looks like a majority of people are running Nasty Streak on him. All right, boys, our first wheel spin in the Super Bowl. Not bad at all. Let's see what we can get on the second one. I'm looking for a big boy. I'm looking for a hero. Yes! Holy shit. What do we even do here? Okay, Barry Sanders, I'm sorry, is not better than the Flash. Flash is so fucking good, it's unbelievable. I could technically get Randy Moss for wide receiver, but I feel like I don't need him. These wide receivers have been so good. You know what, boys? I'm going gold 99, Tony Gonzalez. I would mess with my wide receivers, but honestly, I'm not comfortable with that. I just don't want to mess with it. I've liked my wide receivers so far. They never let me down, but my tight ends, I've definitely consistently been trying to upgrade. I'm taking Tony G. Gold 99, Tony Gonzalez for Ring of Honor Jack. Pot. That's a Super Bowl wheel spin right there. But wow, Tony G's stats are off the charts and he has 90 run block. Whoa, we got to start Tony G. And I'll just give Tony G double me and I'll move Kyle Pitts to my backup and TJ Hawkinson just got benched. Gold 99, Tony Gonzalez. Let's take a look at the stats with all my boosts. 98 speed, fucking insane stats, insane. Red zone threat for free. He gets double me. Well, obviously I'm adding that. Absurd amount of abilities here. I'll start with deep out elite and I'm giving Tony Gonzalez tank. All right, the third and final wheel spin after getting gold 99, Tony Gonzalez is going to be a team. Yes! Wow, this is actually what got me Kyle Pitts. I am losing my voice. My voice is about to be gone again. A team wheel jackpot, baby. So any single player in the game, but they must come from these. It can be Bills or Bengals. It's going to be the Buffalo Bills. Do I have any Bills players right now? I don't think I do. So Buffalo Bills, I have an idea here. A small part of me wanted to go Josh Allen, but I'm not willing 
to change my quarterback. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. However, I think I'm gonna go with Von Biller to replace Mad Max. He's slightly better in most categories and he'll get a free ability which Mad Max does not have. 6'3", 250, he's a little small for a right end, but he's fast. His block shit is 99. We'll see if he can get home. So Von Biller, what abilities do you get for free? You should get something, right? And try to leave for free? Yeah, this was 100% the right choice. Jesus, how do you get that for free? I found myself in the same scenario three weeks ago in what I thought was going to be my last episode of Madden 23. I started the game out horribly. I clawed back close, but time ran out and I lost the Super Bowl. One of the worst feelings in the world. We started this season with a loss. We went on a hot streak. We proceeded to lose a game, but clutched up the next three. And that leads us here right now to the Super Bowl. I have no coins left. I have a 98 overall legitimate God squad. And this is the Madden 23 grand finale. The last game of Madden 23 Wheel of Mutt. No choice but to win. There's no challenge wheel. The only challenge wheel is walking home with one more ring. Let's go, gentlemen. Super Bowl 57 in Glendale, Arizona. Taking on the Miami Dolphins. The coin toss, a fun visual effect, although it doesn't matter. I'm starting kicking off amazing. Game changers, Kadarius Tony is his returner. I, I really like to see that. Most of the very meta players are using the flash as their kick returner. We're gonna go with a sky kick to the right. We got the Super Bowl logos on the field. Literally no choice. But to win, damn, I keep fucking that up. Kadarius Tony, don't you house this on me now. Oh, oh wait, 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 I don't like that. No shot, no, no. Bro, I didn't. I did not just climb all the way to the Super Bowl. For a lag out or a quit? Why? Bro, the playoffs have just been a f a f an actual Mickey Mouse cakewalk. Here's what we're doing. This very next game, do or die, is our Super Bowl. That's the best I can offer. Let's get it, boys. I'm not letting this affect my mood. All right, boys. His top three. That's an Eagles theme team. This might as well be a Super Bowl because I picked up Tony G and he's a Kansas City Chief. I guess I'm the Chiefs today, boys, and I'm gonna win the Super Bowl. He starts on the 42. The Jalen Hurts and Sandcastle halfback. Whoa, get the QB, boys. Come on, Erlacher. Hey, let's go! Kevin Carter! This isn't the first time. Oh my God, he's shifty with that. Motion him to the other side. He's running her out. Oh, good laser. First and 10, a handoff. Jeremy Chin steps up. We got him. Second and seven. Go get him. I got him. No, not again. Oh my God. And he's. How many times? How many times? Will he do it? Eric Berry in the back of the end zone. Dude, he does it so often. Locked and loaded. We're going to start out hot. I'm going to go to the flash. Oh, oh, I haven't ran that play this entire season. And now it's the Super Bowl and I'm doing what I did last time. I'm playing stupid. Oh shit, I'm on 87. Can I get there? Good breakup. Damn, hoping for the lurk, but Erlacher with the recovery speed. He's motioning Gronk. Does he go corner route? Is that a corner route on Gronk? Oh, no, no. Damn, boys. <gasps> you better not lose this game by a point. First and 10. I'm not throwing stupid shit anymore. I'm going to take a sack before I throw some. Ooh, X was wide open. Patterson out the backfield. You got to make a decision. Oh, Patterson clear. He's in Mike Blitz. This is literally just Mike Blitz. Fucking Patterson, get out. Behind Bynum, we're there, let's go! Shit, shit. Second and 22, I'm gonna roll. Oh, hey, you're there, kind of, sort of, not really. Third and 22, I'm starting off horribly. If this is the same defense, I can light this up with Amon Ra, yes. Ooh, got lit up by Kirby Joseph. It's fourth and five. Oh, yes, we got the rollout. Just take it. Oh, no. Oh, yes, Lamar. Let's go. Lamar just shrugged Carl Banks. I'm going to cut it back. Yup, user doesn't see it. Great downfield blocks. He's seen all those run plays. And all of a sudden, Justin Jefferson. Let's go. Flash. There he is. Cheeky. The dive. Down to the seven. It's third and two. I'm running it left side. Hold those blocks. 
Oh no, fourth and two. No time on the clock. Wait, he's gonna let me chew clock. He doesn't see this. Jefferson, oh, he sees it. He doesn't see it. Wait. Two seconds. I lost the last Super Bowl. My first half was so shit. I played like ass. And I'm not making that same mistake right now. I am following the Nigerian nightmare into that fucking end zone right here. Let's go. Flash. I thought I was stopping him from getting the ball, but all I did was stop me from being able to score. First and 10. Let's go. Gonzalez over the top. <gasps> what? Second and four, I'm on Gronk. <laughs> Fuck. I'm on Gronk. I said second and four, I'm on Gronk. And I... How is he not getting sacked? I'm blitzing six, he's blocking five. He's got to go for this. He could run this ball. I'm on Barry in case he does. He doesn't. Mine. Ooh, wait a minute. Ooh, this is a game changer. If, if... He's not fast enough. Got to go for the pitch. Why do I sell in the Super Bowl? I did this last... Why? Why do I sell in the fucking bowl? I'm not ready to go out like this. What did I say before? I said I'm not going out like this. So I'm not going out like this. Let's go. Uh-uh. Not this time. Tony G's there this time. Good blocks. Why? Fuck you! Let's go! Jefferson! Come on! 7 and 12. Come on! First and 10. We need to stop. Play action. That's a... That was an Eric Berry interception. I didn't think Erlacher could get to it. I'm sending a hot one, and I'm going on Sandcastle. Let's go. We're getting home to Jalen Hurts, whether he likes it or not. What do you have? What do you have? Nothing! Chris Jones from the nine! House this bitch. I've never housed a punt, I don't think, ever. Let's house this bitch. That's not how you house a punt, but that's okay. Because I'm going to come out slinging again. Yes. Unicorn! Hard cut! Oh, he ate it! He ate it! Took that shit. There it is. There it is. All right, good tackle. Third and four, I believe, O-line. Yes, sir! No! We're doing it again. Fourth and three. There he is. High ball! Got him! Get off of me! Get off of me! Fourth and three! I need the two-point lead. I'm going for it. Snap it. Get your ass down there! Let's go! Three-point lead, four minutes Yay. left. No! Somebody play me! Let's go! Yes! After the worst, worst feeling in the world. Oh, of having lost that last Super Bowl. And it was the same. I was down two possessions, but I couldn't claw back. And in this one, I could. My voice is shot. But this was one of the best experiences of my life. Take one last good look at this insane, insane squad, gentlemen. I literally thought I was going to cry. That I was going to lose another Super Bowl. WOM Grand Finale, 98 overall. And and one more Super Bowl ring. I love you so much. Thank you for watching an hour plus long video. You're incredible for that. I really appreciate you. And I can't wait to put more heaters out for the next couple months. And I can't wait to see you in Madden 24, Wheel of Mutt. Put some thought to what you want our three initial prestige players to be for Madden 24, Wheel of Mutt. I'll see you guys then. Peace out.